friends and loved ones, and welcome to the Dungeon Run! Yeah! I am your Game Master, Morgan Peter Brown, tonight, and I am gathered, well, I'm gathered here with my four friends, four of my bestest friends in the world. Hi, everybody. Hi, hey, Morgan. Hey, Morgan. We're, we are up to something special here tonight. Uh, normally, we like to play around with Dungeons and Dragons and spells and magic and such, but tonight, we are actually doing something a little different, a little, little more wild. Wow. Wow. A little more wow. western. Wow. Western. 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 That's right. Ma'am. Tonight we are <laughs> tonight we are playing a brand new game brought to you by Rune Foundry and Boy Lie Hobby Time. It's called Wild Imaginary West. And we partnered with these amazing people to bring you this one shot of this wonderful game in this wild, literally, setting that we're going to be talking about a whole lot. But Rune Foundry and Boy Lie Hobby Time, which is a, an amazing YouTube channel where literally you will spend days, hours of your life. I'm looking at Ron right now because I know he's already done it. Got it. Just <laughs> the prettiest minis and, and it's yep. all just Wild West setting yep. and he's been building out and creating this setting in the most beautifully detailed miniatures yep. and they've been and partnering with Rune Foundry to create this game and then they came and brought this game to us yep. and there's they like, here, yep. show people Thank playing. This is so much okay. fun. We're going to get into that in just a second but I wanted to get back to my amazing table because you may know some some of these faces at our table, but for the first time, I want to say Mayana Baron is here with us Yay! today. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here. This is going to be. Thank you so much. Well, of course, thank you. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. All right. <laughs> well, and and please, for those who, because uh, hopefully, if you've never seen us before, again, we're the Dungeon Run. We have a blast around these parts. But introduce yourselves, please. Sure. How you doing? My name is Adam Slimmon. Uh, I'm playing a character named. Um, are we doing characters? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. I'm playing a character named Casey Jones III. Uh, he is a mechanic who uh, values electricity and uh, steel reinforced parts. And he believes that uh, the world would be a better place if we could just get more technology into the hands of the people. Fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I vote for you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, I'm Ayanna Barrett. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm playing uh, Dr. Marion Marsh, and uh, I've seen a lot of soldiers come and go, but nobody should be alone, and I believe that very strongly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I'm very excited to get these guys bandaged up. Uh, <laughs> very worried. What's well, going to happen? Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ron Ogden. I'm uh, playing for a yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. It's Ron's first game since he became a dad. Yeah, yeah, if you can yeah, tell, yeah. I'm a dad now. Proud it's my dad, whole proud identity. Proud uh, I didn't know if you knew that, but when you have a child, it's just your identity. Can we call you so, that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Call me Papa. Uh, it's fine. Gonna be uh, it turns <laughs> out that uh, <laughs> uh, apparently when you become a dad, dad jokes are now funny. Oh, uh, good thing was I already like there. Oh, it's already funny. Tonight, I will be playing Scooter McShooter, or maybe Shooter McShooter. Scooter. We don't know which one it is. He doesn't seem to know which one it is. Interesting. He is a gunslinger. He was rough when he was a kid, and he's rough now. He's vengeful and fearless, and he'll tell you one thing is that he hopes to be able to forgive himself for all the things he's doing. <laughs> Oh, that's you pretty much it. That's oh. kind of bleak, Scooter. Oh. It's a little bleak, and that's <laughs> what happens right. when you grow up among seven children. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. That's what's on the page, and that's what's happening. Hi. <laughs> Follow that. Oh, I'm Serena Marie. Um, I'm so excited to play here. It I, the first time. I was so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I'll be playing Layla Gutterfish. I'm a hunter. I was raised by Havelina. <laughs> I use scrap metal pieces of technology readily. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just here for a good time. <laughs> Not a long time. Not maybe, a long time. maybe. No, actually, you know what? Here's the thing. Havelinas have a really short lifespan. They live about 40 years. I'm expecting maybe 45 if I'm lucky. I think Mom uh, Menerson would actually argue against that theory. What? <laughs> <laughs> <Look, laughs> longer, longer. Uh, longer. Honestly, this is the Wild West. If you know, we make 25, that's pretty good. Well, well, but you know, we also do have electricity. We do so have electricity. We do have the opportunity yeah. to get and we'll new get into technology. that actually right now. And thank you for bringing that up, Adam, because this is the Wild West. But tonight, we're going to be playing in a Wild West unlike any you may have seen before. Ooh. Now, because we've gone to many strange and fantastical places here on the Dungeon Run in the past, but tonight we're going somewhere a little more familiar than most. Sort of. Okay. 
because we're visiting the Old West, a time and a place near and dear to the hearts of storytellers for well over a century now. It was an era of history filled with unexpected heroes and powerful villains, rivalries and alliances where a fortune could be pulled out of the rivers or the mountainside, and where death could be waiting for you just around every corner. Okay, bars. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but that's just the Old West we're used to. The one we knew so well from paperback novels, Clint Eastwood movies, and countless television shows. But that's not the Old West we're here to talk about today, however. No, sir. Today, we're exploring a different kind of frontier. One that diverges slightly in history. Parallel dimensions is a concept we played around with a little bit on this show before, but never quite like this. Because tonight we're asking you to imagine a world where you might already know pretty well that these here United States, these here United States in the latter half of the 19th century, but picture it, if you will, just a little bit different. Because you see, in this reality where you're joining us here tonight, the Wild West is truly that. You see, in addition to all the gold and oil and boundless opportunity, hooey! <laughs> settlers and explorers discovered that west of the Mississippi River, the land was overrun by dangerous monsters, not just javelinas that'll raise your children. <laughs> They're really vicious animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mom and dad you're talking about. I know. <laughs> I'm also a vicious animal. Yeah. <laughs> You're a gutter fish. <laughs> She's an only child, but she had six or seven that, brothers. That is true, that is true. Yeah. But I don't mean your normal average garden variety beasts and folks with bad intentions. I mean otherworldly aberrations. Terrifying creatures alike you never seen. The kind that'll tear you limb from limb faster than you can spell Tuscaloosa. I can't do it. Yeah, and that's really hard. I thought he was going to say limb, and I don't know how to spell that either. <laughs> that actually hurt my dyslexia. T U S C A L O O S A. Your throat's ripped out. Thank you. Thank you. I like showing off my skills. Your throat. Too late. Throat gone. Throat gone. Anyway. Couldn't get through it. Can't say Tuscaloosa if you don't have a larynx. Can't say larynx if you don't got a Tuscaloosa. There it is. This table's getting along great. But see here. So this entire world has been different, and, and imagine how how the world, the the butterfly effect, if you will, how things have completely changed from there on out. Strange new alliances and and rivalries have been made. People came together as they often do in times of trouble, but also made were forced to made uh, uh, new discoveries and and new technologies. Things that suddenly are like, well, if we don't find a way to to combat or at least keep ourselves safe from these monsters, we're just going to be extinct faster. And you could. Spell another town. Let's say Topeka. All right, Pennsylvania. I like that. <laughs> Topeka. <laughs> All of this. But so that's why. So in addition to otherworldly aberrations that completely seem to rule the landscape west of the Mississippi, well, I got more surprises in store for you because this here Wild West also features really advanced electric technology. Oh, yes. For the monsters. That's yeah. right. There have been things invented called forestalls, which are simply, simply put, a, a, a monster avoidance system. Yeah, it's like if you have off, you know, for mosquitoes, right, exactly. but for hideous monsters. Like a citronella candle for yeah. vampires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But actually, <laughs> but actually effective. <laughs> Sorry, citronella folks. <laughs> Sorry, people who are so into citronella. I mean, I'm so listen, there are seven people out there. I love a good citronella. I really love citronella. Oh, citronella's on the phone? Oh, they're suing us. <laughs> got it, got it, thank <laughs> Got it, got it. You're storming <laughs> the studio. You guys want to mess with this uh, citronella the cabal? Citronella. That's on you, all right? I'm that... pretty sure that's one of the factions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Citronellas. Javelinas, citronellas. But one thing remains constant in this here strange landscape is that people come together and they join hands and they fight and they hope together and they try to make their fortune. And they, they you know, friendships are forged, families are, are hewn out of the stone and forests of these here countrysides. So, and that's one of these stories we're gonna tell here tonight. Of these four souls traveling together from Chicago to the Colorado territories. And maybe we'll happen to see if they happen to come across something that uh, might put them into my pit of danger. Oh dear. Will they survive? Will they make their fortune? Or will they get tuberculosis? <laughs> Dysentery. I don't have that as part of this, but but maybe. I mean, <laughs> are we Jordan or Weaver? <laughs> Can we? Oregon Trail. All around. <laughs> <Snake bite. laughs> 
It's all fording rivers and getting dysentery. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the definition of Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me a little bit. Let's throw it back on the four of you, all right? You are a ragtag munch. Sure are. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't mind me saying that. No, no actually, I don't mind at all. Yeah. 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 You can't make a quilt really without some rags and some tags. Yep. yep. Our story begins one fateful afternoon in these here southern territories of Colorado. The higher elevation in these parts are a nice respite from the drier heat of the plains, but you've entered sort of a, a high desert. Craggy ridges and, and occasional copses of tall pine trees densely packed on either side of the trails might to make someone a bit anxious. Feeling like anything with giant claws and sharp fangs would come leaping out of the brush faster than you could spell Tallahassee. Oh boy. Oh, T A L L A. Oh, I'm dead. Sorry. <laughs> Throat ripped out. <laughs> what happened? Now, our friend Layla does have on. It was Layla. Why don't we Lay just stop Layla? spelling Layla? things? It's Layla. Layla does have on her backpack a small four stall because y'all probably would have been dead a long time ago if it weren't for that much. Mm -hmm. I have lots of skills like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's list a couple, why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> One. Fight. <laughs> Two, Two. Bite. Bite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But around in one of these narrow bends in the waning sunlight, we see the shapes of these four figures on house on horseback. A quartet of well. Yeah, well, like, go ahead. I mean, I know we already sort of described ourselves, but how do we find the four of you this here afternoon? Ooh. Is anyone else having trouble breathing? Like we're at a different, you know, distance from the the like, ocean, you know what I mean, yeah. like elevation. I, I actually, I, I took my water skin and I and I have this this second one and it just got I put just a bunch of air in it mm -hmm. and I've just been like taking little sips of the air. I think it's gonna be quite <laughs> the thing in a couple years. So you yeah, no, that's a great idea. I think sips. maybe I've just been handling it with this here whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be a lot more <laughs> effective for some reason. <laughs> the whiskey is helping you breathe. I'm it is you. isn't not helping me breathe, but it helps me get past <laughs> all the panic. The thing is, I think that you're just breathing wrong. You just need to take deep. No, no, opposite. Shallow. <laughs> wait, no wait. shallow breath. Deep. Wait, no, 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 no shallow. Not shallow <laughs> breath. I'm, I'm feeling the pain. No, I'm feeling the pain. Come <laughs> in. No, 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 no. So wait, you shallowest mean, breath. So like quick and no. shallow. No, no, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 Scooter's horse is used to occasionally jerking around and passing out and uh, maybe drunkenly. Uh, he's clearly over. like tied himself onto the horse right. because yeah. it's he has a tendency to fall off on occasion. Sure, sure, sure. You know, if, if y'all had let me take the time in Chicago to buy parts, I could have made us all robotic horses for you, us to get out. Hey, 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 I put I put my hands over there. Yeah, we ain't trying to replace horses with this AI junk. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow. That only took about 10 minutes you to know, get to the AI. The AI can help the horses, but we no. don't have to replace the horses. We just want to make Thank their lives horse. easier. Right. It's, it's very clear that Casey is uncomfortable atop the horse. Like, he says his legs are out to the side. He's holding the reins like this. Casey, just... I don't know, you've ridden a horse before, yeah? No, no, oh, that's why oh. my my butt is so sorry. <laughs> I, I'm kind of upset you guys haven't you noticed. You've just been like floating above your saddle. Like, <laughs> it's you're afraid to like out. put your butt down. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, legs, though, your quads are strong. great. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're I've like been great. riding like this <laughs> in <laughs> Chicago. No one has noticed. <laughs> I thought that was just like a weird like style that you were doing, yeah, like yeah. on purpose. Like Chicago style. I just thought it was style. horse. Oh, Chicago <laughs> style deep dish <laughs> horse riding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> horse planking. This That's what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. I have a question about this world. Now, it is a magical world full of be beasts and creatures. So, who's to say we all have horses? I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Right, are, are you trying to pitch me that you would like to be riding a different type of animal? I would. I would like to be riding like a... Cavalina? A no, no. <laughs> that's uh, that mom. That's that mom. Uh, uh, no, instead, uh, that's weird. I would be like, I would like Maybe to ride a giant, uh, like a like a lizard. Ooh. A giant like lizard. Like a lizard monster. Iguana? Like a, an iguana. All right, all right. I'm, I'm going to have to make you roll for this. Okay. Ooh. Now, and that's, by, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, it, I, I'm your GM for the day, but in this here game, we call the GMs wardens. I am your warden for Ward? tonight. Great. Uh, that's right. Warden so, Morgan? Yep, Warden Morgan. <laughs> Warden Morgan. Warden Morgan. <laughs> the, Morgan. the Morgan. That's the right. Morgan. Hmm. All right. It could be like a, 
Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. I'm so these are, other, these are wild, otherworldly beasts yes. that tend to be quite dangerous. I did grow but up in the wilderness. You being a hunter from the wilderness, I'm okay. All right. So... This is a D6 system where uh, if you actually, no, thank you once again to Rune Foundry who sent us these amazingly gorgeous uh, golden black bullet dice. So cool. Six-sided bullet dice. They're very cool. Oh boy, this is gonna like be a high. This I is could. gonna be a high DC. All right, that's and okay. I would like to assist if I could, and I'll tell you why. Because at some point you're gonna have to wrangle that thing, and I got all the strength <laughs> and all the stupidity. Sometimes it gets a little, a little wild. And sometimes you gotta run up quick and just knock them in the head over. Um. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> would you say that this was a charm roll? Yes. Or a nerve roll? Um. Oh. I think that. Oh well. Let's see. Um. Well, probably a charm. All right. I would I, like my assist to be nerve since I'm tackling this thing. Well, so, yeah, I, I just, maybe maybe it's a friendly guy. I don't know. Maybe it's not. All right, no, you I'm, I'm picturing sort of a large iguana or a large, like, monitor yeah. lizard or something like yeah. that. And this is the thing. And when I talk about otherworldly beasts, sure, they're sometimes quite, you know, uh, uh, love crafty and but also a lot of them tend to just be monstrous giant size alligator or yeah. we can even say that earlier on your journey that certainly you didn't fight anything but you were able to avoid it but you caught glimpse of a enormous centipede Ooh. that seemed to be rampaging through through the territories. Yeah, little I socks still, on every foot. Oh, I'm, socks. Still, no I'm still, I'm still at Just, <laughs> just socks. Okay. It took them forever. <laughs> All right, Scooter, let's start with you. Okay. I would like to, you to roll a nerve check. All right. Difficulty three. Hit a target of three. Okay. That's a medium style. Yours is going to be a, a little medium harder. Medium style. All right, I got a spur and an ace in the hole. Oh. And a blank. Okay, and a this spur. Is my, this is my talent, so I can re-roll the spur. And an ace in the hole counts for two. two. A blank so counts for a zero, one. and a spur is a re-roll. I got a hit, so that's yeah. okay. You, you, you hit add the your three. ace in the hole because you have a counter for it, right? So I have yep. a, a, a passive skill called Monster Inside. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, so I was wondering if I could use an extra, it says uh, if I use, I get one bullet to intuition to scan with a four stall. So it's different. Okay. But I ha I'm intuitive with monsters. Okay, okay. I like this. Yeah, okay. In fact, it, it, I would say either intuition or charm makes sense for what you're trying to roll for. I'm going to do intuition. You're going to go then. intuition. And now see, there are black and golden. So if it says a 2B or a 1G or something like mm -hmm. that. So because I believe it is at a, the G, the gold dice, you have a, a slightly better uh, ah, higher chance. Yeah, higher chance, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's like a gilded die in another D6 system or something. Like oh, amazing. Okay, so, um, so you're rolling intuition. Yes. I need you to get your challenge is four. Otherwise, you're just going to have... A normal everyday horse is that, who is gonna who is gonna look lizard. at you every day, knowing that you didn't think it was cool. Oh. Is it <laughs> with my assist, my successful that was assist? Good. Yes, so that, that looks pretty good. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. So I have. Uh, it looks like three successes and one um, spur. One spur. A spur is a reroll. Hell yeah, reroll. Right. If you if you have the if she if you is in, you proficient in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah you proficient in intuition. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. she is. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Okay. Do yes. It, do it, do it. Yes. If you've unlocked the talent for the category, the yeah. player may reroll spurs. Thank you for reminding yeah. me. We're all learning this game together. Miss. Dang. It's a miss. So you got a three. I got three successes. Mm -hmm. Well, so okay. Here's the thing. Um, mm -hmm. My horse. <laughs> His name is Arthur. He's dumb. <laughs> he thinks he's a lizard. Oh my God. There it is. He's got like, there it is. <laughs> he just has his tongue out, and I'm like, you are so perfect. <laughs> Everything about you is beautiful, smooch. I love okay. this. Yeah. All right, so after First horse I ever had to subdue like a lizard. It was wicked. Now, he just, he loves the sun. When he, he gets was, cold, he just lays down. He was, <laughs> real, he was real cheap. Like yeah. everybody, he oh, the rest so of our horses cheap. were very he expensive. Came, he, he was runs like the adult. Like buy free, get one free. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. he was the one he free. Was the bogo. <laughs> he was the, the bogo, bogo horse. horse. They threw him in extra. <laughs> Arthur, I love you. He's perfect. He's the, he's the horse you put people who are scared of horses on when you go on a horse ride. After, after the Not lizard was unsuccessfully, after the lizard was un, uh, unsuccessfully charmed and ran off into the brush. Yeah. But you and Arthur have forged a quick bond, and you've had the time. It has been three weeks that the four of you have been traveling on this trail, uh, on your way to Carson City. 
Now these four folks thrown together, some by choice, some by a strange combination of false of fate and circumstance, but you've had each other you've had each other's backs, and together you've made it this far. The trail's been hard. Each day your rations and supplies have worn down just a little bit farther. So it's with a hefty sigh of relief that your eyes catch sight of a finely carved sign in the distance. Topaz Creek, population 82. Oh, perfect. And it's adorned with an illustration of some finely painted gemstones among the hills and pine trees, along with a friendly slogan, May good fortune find us all. You see off just in the distance, maybe a, a few hundred yards away, you just start to see buildings and you know you're a little closer to civilization. But just then, you, in fact, you, Casey, first probably catch the telltale whirring sound and the buzzing of a mechanical creature coming out of coming coming up behind you on the trail, and a scrappy mining mech with two spiral drills at the ends of rusty mechanical arms rolls slowly into town right behind you, and you you probably slow your horse as it starts to pass you, and there's a very friendly driver saluting you with the tip of his hat oh. and a cheery smile that tells you that maybe it was a great day at the mines. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Yep. I couldn't help but notice your fine uh, 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 automobile mechanized uh, creation you have here. Well, it does a good job. Yeah, uh, I assume it is most uh, 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 efficient at mining here in uh, Topaz Creek. Well, yeah, we do our best up here. Uh, yeah, but uh, we we've been mining gemstones and uh, limestones, any any kind of stone, honestly, uh, in this here in these here hills. But yeah, it was a good day. What? Warden, I'm, I I might want to tell you here that my my faction of Topaz Creek is not so good. So that person might look at me and might suspicious. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna see if he notices you. Oh. What's your faction? <laughs> Topaz your Creek. Faction. They are suspicious. Oh. oh no! Okay, well, they're suspicious. Five. A scooter McShooter. It's helpful. Okay. All right. I didn't even wasn't even expecting that. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm neutral. This makes sense for me. So as Casey Jones is talking to this man in the back, uh, you can see uh, Scooter uh, is sort of like popping up his collar and trying to hide himself a bit, uh, looking at what a uh, poster that you've seen him most of the time look at, which is a wanted poster of what he's, he's only... claimed is Billy Boy, a childhood friend. Mm -hmm. I rolled a three okay. on two black die for his intuition, and he definitely, or intellect, and he definitely uh, clocks. <coughs> I seen you around. Uh, me? Uh, uh, me? <coughs> me? No. Like yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Uh, I was here the other day looking for a Billy Boy, and I got into a fist fight in the saloon, and I messed a guy up pretty bad. Wait, was your. Shooter McScooter? Scooter McShooter. Those are both correct. Yeah, all right, I heard about you. Yeah, uh... I, I, look, I ain't looking to start nothing. I, I mean, you, that, I don't want to have a, nope. Because we'd have to finish it. Now, now, wait a minute, you told us you were just going into town for a new hat. Well, that's what happened. Yeah. But then in the process of getting a new hat, yeah. I went to the saloon because you can't be sober when you're buying a new hat. That's true. It's, it's not allowed. allowed. It's not allowed, right? It's against the law. <laughs> it's literally against the Topaz law. Topaz Creek is very, Topaz very, Creek is very well, clear well, about well, new well, hat well, buying. Well, and so I went in, in there public, yes. and the guy looked at me funny and he said, you sound weird. And I was like, well, this is my fist. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold Then on. did you punch him after you said after that? After that, and then I had two more whiskeys and I punched myself in the face. <laughs> to make sure everybody knew I wasn't even afraid of myself, <laughs> and I left. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, uh, I never did buy the hat. You never got a hat, no. Yeah, perhaps, you know, we we uh, have a buddy system uh, <coughs> set up. Moving forward, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, it's me saying it, so it's yeah. probably really yeah, serious. Yeah, I mean, that's a probably good idea, <laughs> clearly. Now look, most folks in this so town don't, don't ain't looking for that much trouble, but I will say, one-eyed Randy is, and ain't, ain't no fan of yours. Well, he's no eyed eyes. Randy now. Yeah. <laughs> I got him in his one good eye. He deserved it. Let me tell you. Uh -oh. And you would know. And you would know that one-eyed Randy is the owner of the saloon. Oh. Um, he yeah. fed me whiskey. It was his fault. Wait, wait let me just I'm make clear. Take... Let me make this clear. So the only place we can 
purchase alcohol, and there needs to be a lot of drunkenness because that's the rules of Topaz it's Creek. It's the rules of Topaz you, you have angered the purveyor of that establishment? <laughs> that is correct. I'm in trouble with the alcohol police of Topaz Creek. <laughs> I think I might be able to assist a little bit with this. Please be my guest. I would, I would very much like to go into the tavern and see if, I'm sorry, the, the, the saloon. You sure? And uh, I would love to see if I can maybe heal no-eyed Randy's one good eye. <laughs> Excellent. All right, well, you're going to keep that, you're going to keep that on ice for just a moment Absolutely. as you're still making your way into Absolutely. town, but you, you were like, I whip out my new journal, and I'm like, to-do list, to-do list, to-do list. Layla, oh. you were going to say. Oh, um, so Layla and Arthur um, have ridden up close to the, the miner yes. in his mech, mm -hmm. miner mech, and um, I'm, I'm smelling the air around you. Okay. And I'm just trying to, like, get your vibe a little bit. Sure. Um, what is it that you smell like? Like, if I were to, um, if, if I were, like, Cause you know how dogs like kind of like have a little bit of an intuition based on scent. Sure. That's what I'm trying to She's do. She's doing the sniff thing. Yeah. Um, the give me, this. give me. Uh, I'm like actually have like javelina facts on my head right now. That's so amazing. I love it. <laughs> what did they look like? Give They're me an intuition cute. roll. Can I assist by trying to distract the guy by talking to him about his mech? Absolutely. Excellent. If you'd like to roll a charm roll, I, I, he, he's quite proud of his mech. I'm, I won't set your difficulty very high. Uh, just give me a two. Ooh, yeah, I got, guys, I got a four. Oh, uh, he is yeah. loving talking to you and showing you just, uh, we well, see this here drill bit. I mean, I just replaced it the other day, but he's yeah, showing you like, it's got it. two arms. And again, this uh, wild imaginary West that we're dealing with, there were advancements that became necessary when the discovery of these monsters happened. Electrical, uh, again, with the four stalls, as I mentioned, but electrical technology and, and ways to protect yourself. And you would see a, a buzzing small four stall on the side of this mech as well. It seems to be just like a, a regular, you know, part of everyday life, at least if you're going to be going out and amongst the wilderness and literally carving your fortune out of the, out of the surrounding land. Mm. Uh, but yeah, he is having the time of his life talking to you and he's like, well, if you, if you want to show me this, it's yeah, like, we can, all right, we can amplify more than the do you want to come in here, actually? No, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a two. Okay, with a two, um, you really just oh, get- three? Yeah, Ace Roll counts as two. Oh, Ace three. Ace counts as two, great. So with a three, yeah. mm -hmm. you get, I mean, you get dirt, you get salt from just sweat. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Yeah. It means it's outside. Oh yes, for sure. Yeah. He outside, not inside. <laughs> outside, um, good inside, bad, yes. Good. <laughs> I'm trying to- So, um. Like the smell of mines, you definitely get some mechanical oil smell, okay. and you get a little bit of that oh. smell of the ozone of the electric, electric technology that he's been working with. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, not much else because I mean, can I ask a kind of gross question? Be my guess. Okay, so like, sweat, the different sweat does smell differently. Yes, sure. it does. So, is he sweating? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it is known. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Is So, is can I uh, sense the str uh, stress on him? Like the sure. stress sweat? Uh, you don't. Thanks. You don't get stress sweat. I mean, besides just the normal hard day's work sweat, if anything, <laughs> you roll a you roll four. So, Three, hmm. but. if anything, he seems quite thrilled. Great. Like Good he's, day. Good yeah, day. he's he had a, he had an excellent yeah. day. So he smells like sunshine and salt. A little bit, yeah. I right. love that you smell people in order to understand their emotional yeah. aspects uh, of themselves, you know, and I love that. Yeah. That's really. Yeah. I love it. Um, okay, so, so but yeah, <laughs> it, it's, the, you are like trotting <laughs> into town as slowly, kind of making your way into town on the back of this mech, um, but he's. <laughs> More than happy to show you all. His name's Herbert, by the way. Herbert. That's yes. what I was gonna. Ask. Are you like yep. holding your like motorcycle style, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> behind him like this? Your <laughs> horse is like. Fun. What the heck? Yeah. The horse is like that guy rides me weird. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, ah, <laughs> just a free that day. That guy wants me to be a, ma a ma machine. <laughs> <laughs> but you've passed through towns towns like this before of the same basic size and layout. Familiar buildings are visible off the main street. You recognize a saloon, a postal service, a sheriff's office, a trade and post, uh, and, and a general store. Mm -hmm. Also prominent in this town, though, is a dried up riverbed run, running right through the town. And any questions you might have as to how the town earned its namesake are answered by the sight of several sizable caramel colored gems on display in front of the trade and post as you all kind of ride into the, the greater city limits, if you will. Oh. Ooh, wait, you see that? Yeah. There's clearly gems up in them hills. Makes sense, yeah. Very shiny. 
<laughs> and as you are dismounting uh, Herbert's mech and, and, and getting on down and, and getting into the street, you also hear the steady hum that can be heard coming from a large electrical box with antennas mounted on the top of the town sheriff's office. There's a yellow and black warning sign that reads, No sweeping! Turn off all four stalls! Oh, uh, 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 Layla, best switch off your four stall. Why? Because I know you can't read. I don't. No, I know. <laughs> but that, their sign says we, we, uh, we cannot have a four stall on. I think it's because what will happen is your signal will interfere with their signal, which will just make the whole thing null and void. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then I just, uh, get into my bag and I just turn off all of my electrical things. And you hear lots right. of beeps and boops. Beep, boop, 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 I hope you like that four stole, by the way, I made you for your birthday. Uh, you know, the fact that you remembered my birthday and also gave me a birthday, <laughs> that, that meant a lot, Casey. <laughs> Well, you, you know, didn't you, have a no, birthday. You didn't have a birthday. <laughs> so I just assigned you one. No. I was like, you know what would be a good birthday? August 6th. August, it's, like August August August. Oh. it's a real good birthday. It's a, birthday. <laughs> it's a real That's good birthday. The day I met all y'all. That's it. Yeah. 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 So uh, I'm glad you're liking that song. Yes, yeah, great. It, it is August 8th. <laughs> I'm so happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. We met you two days ago. We met you two no, days. it was a year ago. A year and two days ago. Yeah, Amazing. Two days. Uh, but Scooter, your, your, your eyes are kind of constantly panning around here and kind of ke- trying to keep track, look out for any sort of trouble now that you now that we know you've been in this town before and maybe, maybe kicked up a ruckus once or twice. Mm-hmm. But as y'all are kind of tying up your horses and sort of looking around getting the lay of the land, you very quickly notice something, which is you're not, not far from the bank. There is a Topaz Creek Bank, which is a nice enough building. Mm. Um, and a woman in a pinstripe dress and black high heels comes bursting out the double doors of the bank next door. Whoa. Dope. Oh. And because and you because she you see her burst out of the door and look directly at the four of you and look at this mech and she, oh, they should have arrived by now. Oh, I thought she was looking at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I no. got all flustered. No, no, <laughs> sorry. Casey, do, no, do no a offense. Comfort. Do a oh, comfort, oh, yeah. Casey. Oh, Casey, sorry. do a comfort. Yeah, I'm still working on it. <laughs> Ma- ma'am, you look uh, to be distressed. Uh, is there anything we can do to assist? Well, I'm just... <sighs> My problems seem to be multiplying by the moment. Uh, I may have lost a shipment, and now... Now i got two messengers who I, I'm forced to worry about. Dang, damn it. Wait, do you want us to shoot messengers? Because I'm real good at it. <laughs> Ah, no? Uh, no. Oh, Dude. I thought that's what. No, no. I think I think he wanted us to potentially. <laughs> oh maybe no! Go don't shoot find the don't messengers. Shoot oh, the I'm messengers. sorry. There you go. Got there it confused. You, go. Not, you right. look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, no. It's I'm, fine. I'm, it's fine. It's fine. fine. What, whatever. No, no, no. It's fine. It's, I just listen. I, I mean, I I don't mean to be cruel. I, I, I'm trying to run a business in this here town. We, you know, we, I, you, I, you don't. You seem cruel. You just smell yeah, yeah, stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, what business do you that I am? Yeah. Well, I'm Glenda Flintwood. This is the, the Topaz Creek Bank. Oh, all right. Um, but just, uh, she... I'm sorry. I, I thought y'all was Jesse and Clyde. You wouldn't have happened to, to bumped into two dummies in a mech on your way into town, did we you? We d- bumped into one dummy on a mech. Right? Yeah, that was Herbert. Oh, that no, Herbert. that was Herbert. No, yeah. no, Herbert's fine. No, oh, no, no. all right, all right. No, yeah, Jesse no. McCoy and Clyde Remington. Jesse McCoy They're our mech careers. Clyde. Oh no, we didn't. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of mechs. I didn't see a sign of one. No, but well, we've known them for years. They're usually damn reliable. But today, I just know something's gone wrong. And she looks out towards. And sure enough, I mean, it's late afternoon. The the sun is not quite setting, but it's not far Woman's off. Woman's intuition is rarely incorrect. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're mm-hmm. welcome. Mm-hmm. Are you a doctor? Doctor Marion Mark. Oh, well, it's such. That a sounds pleasure. like a thing a doctor would say. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't help but notice your general demeanor of, of distress, and we can't, you know, we, could, we can't have that. We're well, trying to run a business here. I, it's absolutely it, true. Thank you. It, and uh, I know this is an awful strange way to welcome you to town, but, well, y'all look like you know how to handle yourselves. And uh, as if you couldn't tell, I mean, as you pointed out, I'm sorry if I smell a little... Stressed? Yeah, well, I am a woman in dire straits. Yeah. She's a woman in dire straits. But I don't want to be presumptuous. I, I know how hard the road can be. Uh, please, w- would you come with me and let me explain? If y'all, yeah, are, are 
are y'all free of, for potentially looking for work? No. Uh, we are, just we would we are yeah. so yeah. out of surprise. If you're, if you're yeah. saying that you got some money for me to help you with things, I am down. We are. We you're are. from the bank, so I assumed it's involved. Yeah, we had to get a really low budget buy one, get one free horse over yeah. there. Guess which horse was the BOGO horse? <laughs> Guess which horse was the BOGO the t- horse? The one with a weird tongue? Yeah, 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 yeah. the one with a weird tongue. You noticed no, that. No. Yeah. I think he's cute. I do he too. Is cute. He's the best. The best. And I've been covering his ears. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He can't. He can't. It's in one ear out the other. Right. Please, if you don't mind, first round's on me. If you'll come with me, with me, and I'll let you explain. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You didn't oh, say so whiskey, but I'm in now. <laughs> You're gonna have to make Lynn? amends with one-eyed Randy. Oh. You're gonna have to apologize. Well, no, eyed Randy. No, well, no. Yeah, we, we need to make You're it one-eyed, one-eyed Randy, Randy yes. and then apologize. Then we, you're yeah. gonna have to bring Randy a truffle. <laughs> and, or and or a tuber, as is the tradition with forgiveness of yeah, the you know, yeah, that's, yep. the GMs, you try to prep your game, you try to think of whatever uh, they could possibly so, do, and then one of your players says, "I've been raised by javelinas," and you're like, "Yes, uh, yes, you." Morgan, have been. as you well know, since you are the warden, we do have saddlebags, uh, in which uh, we decide what's in that saddlebag in the moment that we need them, mm-hmm. uh, and we each is have three the, of them. Is this and a moment so, of need, Ron? I'm asking you were, as your friend. I, I, hey. This this is in play. You yeah. said you a needed truffle. a truffle and or a tuber. And or a tuber, you did. Uh, and so, which <laughs> good you. thing that I'm you told me. Not, yeah, great. About your family history and how making amends is necessary with truffles and tubers. Yeah, because we are. Because I got a bag with exactly one truffle and one tuber. <laughs> I'm so glad we haven't eaten those. <laughs> I, I love they were the, on the truffle. That is yeah, what you're using this Wait, for. <laughs> you've had. A truffle <laughs> and a tuber. How did you not smell that? You said Saddlebags. Saddlebags. Arthur stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. That's true. We've been disguised. There's a lot of smell masks. I've been sweating a lot of whiskey. Glinda, I'm so sorry you have to hear <laughs> so, all this. She's she's like, oh, all right. Uh, but Glinda, we will help happily. you. Even though someone has been smuggling a tuber <laughs> and a truffle. Without my knowledge, Glinda. I'm so sorry, but I needed them to make amends, and I knew what. I, look, I am so hoping. So you gotta choose whom you're making amends <laughs> with now. Because I am hoping to forgive myself for all the things I've done, and how better to do that than truffles and tubers? I can tell y'all have had a stressful day it's on the been, road. It's been really three weeks. Warm. Three weeks. Three weeks. We actually move really fast. We came from Chicago, now we're in Colorado on <laughs> yeah, horseback. We're real fast. We're flying. <laughs> I did the math. Yeah, on horseback, you can go 40 miles a day. Oh. <laughs> but she leads you a little ways down the muddy work. street. You pass villagers that she nods her hellos to. She goes into a weather-beaten wooden building with a sign hanging above, swinging doors. You can tell this is probably the oldest building in town. A saloon called the Uncut Gem. Uncut Gem. Uncut Gem. Uncut Gem. Uncut Gem. I was waiting for it. You step inside, you pass a collection of chairs and barrels on the dusty porch, and the first thing you notice is the smell. Oof. Sweat. Smoke, whiskey, and dirt permeates the air in here as miners have raucous conversation near the bar comparing their day's earnings. Layla, it is a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully just putting on um, like a bandana over my mouth. I have smell and salts. Do you need smell and salts? Uh, I'm, I'm high. Uh, right. Wait, would that would just wake me that up? Would, yeah. It's normally also just used really to, pungent. Yes, yeah. Just pungent. Mask or... Might, yeah. Uh, if you need a If you need, if a, you had a sensitive cleanser. nose, it would be quite harsh, mm-hmm. I would think. But yes. Okay, yeah. okay. But if you're ever unconscious, I... wait, are we Ooh. banding it up here? No, 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 no. I got confused. I'm There's sorry. definitely some sideways Scoot. glances. We coming walked from in and out. I was like, we I'm shoot? Sorry. This is no. what? I'm sorry, Scoo. It just smells like a lot of people in here. Oh, I didn't even notice. It was. Yeah, it's just a lot. It's very intense. Yes. It, oh. it's I'm, I'm looking around the, the bar. And so. We're with That's Belinda, okay. but like we're just kind of taking the lay of the land. Sure. And I'm looking behind the bar. Do I see a guy with a busted up eye? Well, the other eye is covered with a patch. Uh, you definitely, <laughs> you definitely see. And Glinda nods toward this tall barrel of a man behind the bar, and she says, "Randy, could you bring us a whiskey bottle and five glasses? We'll take this table over here." Two whiskey morning. bottles for four glasses. Careful with your voice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You don't think he re- doesn't remember you from last time? And, and, and Casey, very quickly, you clock at, as almost immediately as you describe as a tall man with a scraggly beard, large barrel chested. He's got a, a an eye patch over one eye, and surely enough, over the left eye is a real shiner. 
Uh-uh. <laughs> Casey. All right, when he comes over here, make sure you give him that tuber and truffle. He just you got him in his hands. Just, just give him that waiting. <laughs> and in fact, you shouted out and said your, your yeah, own yep, order. And so sure enough, you hear there is a... There's no player piano in here, and there's no record scratch to go record scratch. But there is like, it goes deadly quiet. The raucous conversation. Just As I say, four glasses. <laughs> a wooden chair scrapes across the floor. A solitary goes into a spittoon. A guy goes. <laughs> Scooter McShooter. Technically Shooter McScooter, but yes. Well, well, well. You got a real kind of nerve coming back into here in the Topaz Creek. Look, I, I know we had our disagreements, and, and that's why I'm here, Randy, is I brought what I have been told yeah. is a great gift in order to make amends to someone you have wronged. Honestly, you're super lucky to have it. And honestly, I'm very lucky to have a friend who let me understand how lucky I am to have these things, but I've got a truffle and or a tuber. It's... <laughs> if you desire one or the other or both. Or This large man carrying two whiskey bottles and four glasses in his giant hands makes his way across the saloon and every miner, even remotely in his way, just very quickly, like, you know, scatters out of the way. They can smell the trouble in the air. And they kind of... And he is just keeping that one eye trained on you, but he just brushes past you. He gives you a little bit of the shoulder. Oh. And puts the two bottles down on the table and, the, and puts the four glasses. The end of these four were you. Why, why, yes, Randy. I mean, they are newly arrived into town. I suppose they're, they're, they're looking, maybe, maybe they can do me a service. Truffle in a tuber, huh? I hear it is the standard way to say I'm sorry. It's a forgiveness offering. Roll a charm. Oh heck yeah! And given the tuber and the tuber and the truffle, given the tuber and the truffle, I will lower the DC. Okay. Uh, but they are suspicious of me, so I am supposed to roll one less black oh die. Oh my god! Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I love it. Okay. So how many black die will you be rolling? Two. Okay. With a two, you were offering these tuber and this truffle. And Glinda is speaking for you, so I will make it a difficulty of two. Okay, Ooh. great. Come on, Here we maybe, go. Maybe, maybe on, Casey has maybe. like truffle mac and cheese on the menu, and he just ran out of truffles. Well, <laughs> I aced in the whole one of them, nice. and then the other one stood up on its end, Whoa. which I think means I think that's cocked. That? Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah. cocked with these with these dice. Although that should be it. That should be that special. Should be a special. Should be like a Honestly, that's thing. like a crit or something. Two aces in the oh. hole. So with a four, yeah. he stops after having put this bottle, these two bottles and these glasses down and sort of, you know, made sure that everything here is as it should be. And he stands towering over you. I'm told it's a white truffle. Well, black truffles are inedible. Is that good? And he'll take them. Oh, maybe you can fix up his eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shooter McScooter. Do you know? I'm sorry. Well, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to punch you in your good eye. I wanted to hit you in your bad eye. But I'm not great at aiming all the time with this. Just shut up. And he hugs you. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. I am. uh, This is me. I'm. Listen, I've been trying to deal with my anger issues. Oh, yeah. Well, I have been too, thanks to. Layla here. And I'm sorry for my part in our confrontation. And I also regret my actions. Aww. Now touch noses. <laughs> Is that a thing? Maybe another day. Okay. Yeah, I was feeling uncomfortable. And he and he slaps his Alex. two his two hands on, down on your on your shoulders and just I think this would go great with some butter pasta and some cheese. How about that? I haven't had cheese in probably five years, right. so I am down. <laughs> I'll be back. And uh, and he leaves Yay. you, leaves the five of you Ooh. to your table and your whiskey. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was a close one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I should patch up his eyes. No, maybe not. No, I feel like it went good. Yeah, yeah, we can leave that. I gotta say, I gotta be the real The beef honest. has been squashed. Yeah. <laughs> Before, <laughs> y'all, that would have gone a way different way. Oh, that's great. So I'm so glad to know all of y'all. Oh. Not thanks for being willing to fix his eye, but I think you're right. I think he's learned think, a lesson. Yeah. I think we both valuable think everybody one. here. I also noticed that parties in this game are called posses. Posses, yeah. that's correct, fun. yes. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, Y'all my posse. Yeah, yeah my posse. My that's posse. right, and I, I think that was something, each of you, everyone's a human in this game. Yeah, yeah, at least yeah. all of our adventurers are humans. Yeah. But we do have classes, and I, I think we forgot to even say oh, that at yeah. the start. Uh, yeah. Casey, you, you are playing. So uh, I'm playing a mechanic. A mechanic and class. the mechanics are very familiar with the technology of this world. Mm-hmm. So um, what I'm I've decided is that Casey is a little bit more of an upper class person because mm-hmm. he has the education to deal with the tech. Mm-hmm. So Makes that's sense. why he you know he has a slightly nicer chap, slightly nicer hat. A dandy. Um, he's a little bit of a dandy. A dude, a dandy. perhaps. A dude, yeah, a dude. Yeah. dude. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Marsh. Um, thank Dr. Marsh, please. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm the doctor. You didn't go um, to six years of Marsh Medical School. Exactly. <laughs> they make you change your last name to Marsh mm-hmm. to graduate. <laughs> That's why so all docs marshes. are Marshes. Yeah. Exactly. All, do- all doctors are, are marshes. marshes. That's real weird. No. <laughs> but yes, I'm a doctor. I love healing people. Uh, I'm proficient in charm and first aid. And I'm, ha- I'm just happy to be here. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, I believe I said earlier, I'm a gunslinger. Absolutely. I know how to put bullets down range. And that's about it. And punching that's, guys in the and eye. Punching and guys in the punching eye. guys in the pu- eye. Putting bullets down range and fists <laughs> down range as well. And Layla, besides being raised by wild animals, what would your class be? I'm a hunter. A hunter. That's a exactly hunter. right. I, I've talked to animals. I am an animal. <laughs> I like animals more than people. There you go. There Excellent. You go. And uh, this game will also feature other, uh, it, they're actually called trades. I apologize. That's fine. Classes uh, coming up. But there's hunter, gunslinger, doctor, mechanic. Marshall and Trapper are also oh, other trades fun. to look out for nice. in the eventual game as it comes out. Uh, but yeah, all right. Um, so that leads us to, back to uh, Glinda, who has already started pouring herself. She downed one shot quite oh, quickly, goodness. and is right. just said to amazing. Yeah, she's <laughs> really like that. Yeah, she's yeah. It's really the pinstripe dress. Yeah. She's got kind of salt and pepper, longer hair. Uh, she's put together. Yeah, she's got a nice dress and heels in, in this Copper Canyon, these muddy streets. But you can tell she's a woman who can handle herself, that is sure enough. So, well, Glinda, uh, so um, you are very good at drinking, and Thank I uh-huh. would uh-huh. Doing, doing uh-huh. Great. You're doing great. like okay. very much if you would just tell us what's going on. Okay. You just crushed that. You did great. Your eyes are, wow. Sorry, continue. You're strange. Yeah. Not in the bad, not in the bad <laughs> way. But uh, all right. I am so proud of her. I She's know, come I'm so, so excited. <laughs> you haven't spent much time around people, have you? Nope. I love people. I love people. <laughs> oh, I just don't see them because of the horses. So many of them. There's more horses and people. Traveling, traveling, yep, yep, traveling yep, with yep, horses. Yep, yep. Horses are easier to get along with than people sometimes. I can relate. And she puts, hey, her, puts her hand on yours. All right. Jesse and Clyde. No. As I said, they are our mech couriers and they are transporting an armored lockbox and their usual mech. To be clear. These are not horses, but people. These are people. These, These are, are two people. Oh, no, okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. I, I, I was simply. I deal with people all the time. I do wish I dealt with more horses. Their hands are Understand. still touching. I know. <laughs> 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 um, but and, and she'll she'll leave it there for for yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the conversation yeah. because as she's just kind of as focusing on yeah. trying to like get get help from these these helpful t- helpful types that she's met here today. All right. If and y'all could go out and retrace their normal steps. It's a well-traveled, I mean, not as well-traveled as the road you came in on. There may be, but it it is a trail back and forth to Copper Canyon. And just, I I need to know if Jesse and and, and Clyde are okay. Mm -hmm. And and hopefully also return with the briefcase. Mm. Oh, so this lockbox, it contains gems? Uh, Money. 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 Cash. Approximately how much? Uh... She well, bank. 
but just a lot. Charm roll. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Which is what he's known for. <laughs> Very good at. I'm gonna Which make this. I'm gonna bad. make I'm bad. this a little harder. Not Charm bad. roll a four. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't want to tell you. Not bad. Yeah, not she's bad. she's a yeah, professional be, uh, woman. Yeah, she can handle herself. Ace in the hole. Two wow. Weeks. So with two. two so like, just a two. So with a two, she's just. I mean, it varies. And she, she kind of, she, it's yeah. the first you've seen her. She's not like put off, right. but she definitely holds back a little bit. And she I get a sense that she's holding back a little bit? Sense of professionalism, okay. for sure. Got it, got it. But, what? Yeah. but I'd give you a fair share of oh. what's in that there case. Uh, how, um, so how long have they been gone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the, the scent might be cold, depending on how long they've been gone. On mech, nor, see, normally by horse, it's, it's a few hours. Mm. On mech, it's about a day and a half, and you all would know that. I mean, mechs move mechs slower. Interesting. They are. They are, It is. It's. It is a. Mech, but they can lift more stuff. Presumably. Lift more stuff and way more protected. Oh, okay. A, a, a weaponized. Mech. Like a slow tank. Yeah. So my first question. Oh, sorry. Oh no. Go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> Glinda. So um, the mechs that they were uh, riding on. Do you have um, a sample mech uh, that we can look at the tracks? I, I want to see if we-, we can find the tracks in the sand. In fact, and I'm going to reach into my pack and pull out the blueprints that I carry. Of I'm going to say that it's kind of like a-, a collection of various schematics on various Great. mechs. Do they look like any of these? I'm going to lay out several mechs. Uh... She takes time and she's like, well, I- mechs aren't really my specialty, but... All right, all right, and and sure enough, she she's like, yeah, yeah, and she points at this. It's they they've souped it up quite a bit themselves, as I'm sure may you seem familiar, you know, as you will customize. But but this it seems to be of this variety, and she'll point to round, but with uh, with with kind of rectangular blocks on on the front and on either side. I'm gonna pass that over to you. And Glenda, I have a question, which I don't think anybody here has asked yet. What kind of monsters? Are we dealing with That's what I was going to ask. Did they go out with a four stall, and what was it programmed for? As I understand it, the, the, their their mech is equipped with a four stall. I mean, anyone would be a fool not to travel with at least just a smaller four course, stall. Of course. I mean, what kind of monsters in these here hills? Yeah, we're kind of new to this part of town. So. Sure, sure. I mean, the desert environs have have seemed to kind of, you know, we've seen vultures. Mm-hmm. Oh. We've seen. We seen lizards, yeah. centipedes with socks, tiny little socks. No, we oh. saw one of them. Takes them forever. Takes them they forever. Are. They're very oh my slippery, God. and they are terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> it wasn't dangerous, but one day a, a few of us uh, did our best to kind of shoo away a massive armadillo <gasps> oh. with that tongue size of a. Nasty bit. Size of a small house. Wow. Goodness gracious. Didn't really seem to, you know, have a, a, yeah, as I said, like dangerous thoughts in mind, but but definitely took some good well, they, they are herbivores, or no, they just eat ants. Right. No, that wait, ar- a- wait, armadillos? No, they eat plants. Sorry, what? That would be a great new horse for you. Oh. Don't tell our Don't tell our No, I love Arthur. I love Arthur. No, yeah. um, so you said they left about a day and a half ago? They should have been well on their way back by now. I expected them midday today. Okay. Well, tell you what. And it's about 6 p.m. What, yeah. what are their names again? Jesse and McCoy? Clyde. Jesse and Clyde? Jesse and Clyde. Um, Jesse McCoy and Clyde Remington. Clyde Remington. If we're going to find these people, we need, down. We, we need to leave soon because yes. we're going to lose time. the sun. Yeah. Yes. Do you have any... So, uh... I understand that uh, Jesse and Clyde are part of your squadron. And, um... It's a fancy word, sure. That is the name that Javelinas call their groups. Anyway. <laughs> nothing but Javelinas. Is that real? Right. Yes. We are, we are, learning, are, called we are learning so much here today. Red leader. Red leader. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Bravo. Um, leader. <laughs> standing by. Um, so I understand they're part of your squadron. And, um... But we don't have a lot of supplies. Uh, I, I know I don't know if it is a, a customary, but we are. Um, we gave our last uh, tuber um, and truffle, and, truffle, and um, we just uh, do we. Is is there anything you can give us on on this mission that kind of re- replenish our spirits and bodies? Pain pills or a shotgun. <laughs> There is a trading post outside. I'm afraid the most I can offer you is is if you get back. Um, I, I can, if you bring back the cases. Okay. 
Roll a charm. I just, I really just want one singular hot meal. One <laughs> hot meal? I, that's well, all. I think if one-eyed Randy she, might yeah, be she, coming yeah, back. Yeah, that's right. Meal. Yeah, pasta. That's true, that's true. I forgot. Pasta in the middle. Ace in the hole and a re-roll. An ace in the hole. Wow, that was a four. Okay, great. You keep track of all of them. Yeah. Yes. She's like, you have a special ability. I can give y'all ten dollars right now, Ooh, and if you nice. return with the case, and and I hope Jesse and Clyde or any word on on their whereabouts, I can offer you twenty dollars a piece. <gasps> My God! Now to I kinda, want to see the dollar <laughs> <laughs> to kind of properly set us in the economy of this here time. Twenty dollars a piece is basically two weeks of wage. Mm -hmm. That y'all are basically are able to earn here. We each got five dollars to our name. That's twenty dollars a month. Oh the four of yes. us <laughs> combined currently. So eighty dollars total. Of us. <laughs> there is a trading post outside. I'm afraid I, I don't like have much mask. myself. But she'll she'll you know kind of pull out a money belt from underneath her. Like she kind of oh, lift yes. up her dress <gasps> as as fashionable and and you know, non scandalous as possible. Yeah. She appreciates it, but does she? And here's Tim. Whoa, oh my goodness. Clintus, so 70 more. You you hold on to the... Oh, I'm someone, someone I got the dollars. dollars. <laughs> but um, please, I mean, don't drink too much, I guess. Uh, but but here, uh, uh, to, to ease your, your suffering from the road. And uh, Randy, yeah. Randy, and, and sure enough, Randy comes out with, with bowls of, of, a, of a simple butter noodle with, mm. with just shaved truffle on that it. And so a little bad, bit of actually. a... He's like, we actually got a shipment here of Parmesan. <laughs> I did not plan this, but all you guys didn't spell that. You introduced truffles. Uh, yes. I cannot it spell Sean. that. Parmaz Parmazine cheese, I believe they call it. I can't spell it, and I shouldn't if I don't want no, my yeah, throat to right out. And uh, <laughs> as fast as you can spell Venice. Uh, <laughs> and with... And with kindness, <laughs> with kindness and care, with kindness and care, he 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 shaves some truffle over each of your buttered pasta, and and just grates just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh my Thank goodness! You. I'm gonna dig right into that. Yeah, is that is right edible in. dust? <laughs> uh, this is cheese of <laughs> the cheese? European variety. Oh, it yeah. it comes in dust form. It does. Wow! As, as I'm led to believe. All cheese in Europe comes in dust form. There's I no see. wheels like we have here. Well, uh, I'm just, uh, this is the first time I've ever had this Parmesan. Very, <laughs> very strange cows. How do they very do the strange cows. They traditional roll down the hill, they don't? No, they don't do that. Well, that's oh, the and he takes a big bite of it and he's like, well, that's truffle, and that must be buttered noodle. That's, that tastes like. That just tastes like somebody's sad. <laughs> but it's delicious though. Yeah. Like it's like you, you didn't have enough water and turned a cow into cheese. Yep. That's what it tastes like. Yep. Yep. It's delicious. It's I mean, a sassy they, cow. Do you it have any more whiskey, Glenda? I might need some. I might need some. She'll just be, here, here, here you go, doctor. All right. Thank you. I gotta give me some more of this sassy cow cheese. <laughs> it is like when you look over to Layla, she is already done. Yeah. yeah. Like instantly, like it was just. When you have nine siblings, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to be well, fast. Used to have Eight nine of them siblings. are were. Uh, wait, so, uh, how many is our herbivores? Uh, <laughs> I realized we would not eat our own kind, so they're <laughs> fine. <laughs> They've just met tragic deaths. Yeah. So, oh, oh, um, that's most um, oh no. But well, so anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, done, completely done, um, and looking like she wants more. Hey, who took your food? <laughs> Who took our food? Hey, all right, all right, all right. We just we got, we just, got cool. we just got cool. Well, somebody in this town. Food, no, no, she, she, Layla took her food. I did real hard. Y'all head north yes. to Copper Canyon. Oh, That's yeah. their the usual north? route. Okay, great. You know we, how you're sharp at shooting? She's sharp at eating. Here. Thank you. Oh. You're like you need some. <laughs> We'd heard yeah, folks fine. have been complaining of strange cool. noises coming from the area, but it so wasn't like we had much of a choice. I mean, you know, the shipment's got to go through. Of course. Of course. If you see anything out of the ordinary, don't you hesitate. I mean, there. As, as you asked about the monsters, I mean, there's man killers out in those woods, so we can't have it causing all manner of trouble in this here's town. Don't hesitate. Okay. Shoot first, ask questions later. Ma'am, we will do oh, our right. best to return your your uh, squadron in tip-top shape. Absolutely. Thank you. Patch them up real nice and good. Mm -hmm. And shoot them. Uh, no, 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 no. The way. things that are shoot not the your other pot. things yeah, that are right. not. Yeah. Sorry, I was not. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess I said don't hesitate. Hesitate just a tiny right. bit. Hesitate a little. It yeah. sounds cooler, but then when you yeah. think about it, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you're under a lot of stress. Thank you. Don't worry. 
you about you've it. You've already yeah, had. You've also had like half a bottle of whiskey. Woo, yeah. <laughs> this is half my diet here. Look at the oh party. goodness! Well, it's working, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> whiskey death. Anyway, um, and and she and she's like, so so. Please, as soon as you can finish your pasta, I gotta go back to the bank. But I've already taken care of it with uh, with Randy. So thank you, Glenn. They're on my tab. Thank you, Glenn. My um, pleasure. Um. So, like I said, yeah. we should try and look because we're running out of daylight. Yeah, so right. We should. We should, yeah. should get going. Which is good because keep looking at your wrist, and I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. no, my my the top of my hair stand up oh. on my wrist <laughs> when it gets to be nighttime. That makes sense. Dark outside. That's, a, that's very nice. It's I very. That. It's a very specific genetic yeah, flaw. I have. Yeah. Oh, I would love to. I just. I you keep burying the lead. I would like to write it down. No, oh, sure, of course. Yeah. My rep. Not at this time, but I would like to. Yes. Question for the group. Mm. So we're all in love with Glinda, right? No, oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Oh my well, god. No, no, she no, she is. Is. Yeah. no, she's yeah. oh, she no, she is. Oh, she is. I'm the not one to write for her. She is selling a hell. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. She's oh a strong, independent person, <laughs> but man, I wow, totally. Yeah, anyway, sorry, you were no, saying no, something. No, no, this is actually, I'm like, we're so We're all, we just call space space. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, um, the, there, there's pros and cons for leaving right now. Right. Uh, the the con is it's really hot, and mm. traveling in the desert during the heat of the sun mm. is a quick way to get exhausted. Mm. Uh, the the uh, con though of traveling at night mm. is that is that's when everything else is traveling. It's dark and scary. Mm. Oh, that too. Right. Are you afraid of the dark? No. Though? Okay. That answered my question. <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> yes. I'm, Look. I hear you, but if yeah. we wait, I mean, who knows what's going to happen to Jesse and Clyde? I mean, I, I, I can travel anytime. I just want to make sure. I mean, I'm going to be start. honest. I'm not quite sure they're alive, but I'm looking to find bodies. Well, if they were on a mech and it was a day and a half, at the they're very probably least, alive. they probably made it to their destination. It was getting back that was the problem. Think about it, though. They might have hit one of them centipedes. <sighs> And that sock centipede will take a mech apart quicker than you can say Tyler <laughs> Hay. <laughs> or Parmesan. Or Parmesan. <laughs> Wherever that's from. I don't know. Casey, you wanna, um, do you want to hit up the, the general store before we go? Or do we need anything? Other supplies people need. I need a shotgun. We can, you do I not, mean, we do can, you not have one currently? I do not. I've got a used <laughs> rifle. <laughs> yeah, he lost his shotgun a while ago. You, you would it's know a, $10 ain't going to buy you no shotgun. What Ten dollars ain't gonna buy me, but <laughs> maybe fifteen will. Also, hold up you to assume you're. Wait, hold up. Wait, I just learned about money so recently. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, so, put it together. Put it together. I have, yeah. I have noticed as someone who plays uh, regularly with Serena, all of her characters do not know about money. This None of true. them know about money. Is, is it true. because Serena doesn't know about money? I just want to think about it. Yeah, yeah, money's you know the worst, I mean? man. It's the well, worst. Well, you're we, in we one. Bardo. Uh, <laughs> you better start believing in tax incentives. You're in one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So what? So what are you trying to understand, Layla? Yeah. Well, so I, I'm just I'm just saying that like it's bold of you to assume that we're gonna give you our full ten dollars. <laughs> well, you asked. That's I the only thing I was, I was gonna say. I wasn't assuming. I was just gonna ask what I needed. I don't like. I am not familiar as you are with the wilderness. Is there anything we need to purchase that we don't have in our saddlebags already? So the only thing that we really need is um, stuff to make sure the monsters don't like eat us. Mm -hmm. so, so you know, um, any um, a lot of those things can be found out there, though. Well, so your for, your four stalls should do a decent job of keeping stuff away. Of course, but when you, you we have to think about how we smell. Do you know oh. what I mean? Do we smell good like humans? Oh, we right. should, we should try Ooh. and smell not like humans. Do we have any? Smell so should I just humans? rub myself on? Hey, Arthur. <laughs> That, oh. That's true. If we're, if, we're, if we're top Arthur, who is a stinky horse. <laughs> he is a pungent boy. He's a pungent boy. Yeah. It, it's very possible his stank or will mask ours. I love him. He's the Arthur's, best horse ever. Arthur's catching strays no. left and right. He's perfect. <laughs> Respectfully. Yeah. We love him. Respectfully. We love him. We're getting fan art of Arthur. It's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but we can get smell ready, like Jane the Hill desert Street. when we get out there. <laughs> I also think it might be a good idea to get the doctor some doctoring stuff. That's that's an excellent point. That's a point. great. So you would know that with, between the ten dollars that you've been given, and if you were to pool all your money, I'm not saying you have total. to. Thirty dollars total. Thank you. Um, for that amount of money, what what your sort of basic supplies like Bandages. rope, boots, kerosene, candles, medicine. Mm. Which that is one, so you could buy for $5 a piece, mm. which is one gold of health. Ooh. 
Ooh. which is a medicine thing. Um, yeah. Also, small battery pack with two charges is $5. I would love some. Mm. A triple braided lasso that's a two two black die plus a trap Hold on. for you to trap so something is $5. A topaz crystal is also five dollars. Uh, there's a fixed blade. Uh, things of these nature are all kind of which a scope, a heartbeat sensor. You could buy this or po poison arrows, tranquilizer rounds, or knockback rounds are each two dollars wow. piece. How much is the scope? The scope is twelve. Dang. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to be selfish. We cannot buy that lasso. How much is less? $5. Five dollars. I, With your that's five dollars, that's, that's how you want to spend it. But it's everybody's five dollars? No, no, you no, have your own five dollars. It's all about money. <laughs> all right. It, 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 I don't know it, that it you is. understand how money it, works. It, it is all of our money. <laughs> Havelinas are notoriously communist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my money is not your money. <laughs> yeah. no, Go ahead, I can that. give you some if you ask nicely. <laughs> That's just how real uh, life is. Yeah. the battery pack? The battery pack is, small battery pack with two charges is $5. I will buy that. Okay. You're going to buy the lasso? Yeah. How much is medicine? Medicine is $5 All right, per, I'll use... per dose. Oh, man. Per dose. Boo oh, boy. Boo <laughs> well. oh, boy. Uh, per dose. Okay, so dose is one use, presumably. Uh, yes. All right, man. I think, yeah. yeah. One, one, one roll of a gold die of health. Okay, I'll do, I'll do, I'll use my $5, our $5, to, uh, to buy medicine. Okay. Mm -hmm. One dose of medicine. I'm just looking at this here $10. It's burning a <laughs> hole in my pocket. Plus my five. And there's now, a scope were, there that costs less than 10 for, and five. If you were looking for things that could change your smell, there's kerosene. I mean, you That's douse worse. yourself in well, gas. So I, I would suggest we roll in the desert. I think, okay. yeah, we roll oh, in the desert. Oh, I was going to suggest that we urinate. <laughs> No, because that's, that's still human. It's that's still human. Yeah, but it's still human. Human. Smell it's very it's not human to me. <laughs> <laughs> what a human I'm smell. You, you, you eat plan. a lot of asparagus first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Layla's plan. I like Layla. Yeah, roll in the desert. Roll in the desert. Roll in the desert. Roll roll in the desert. Roll I mean, my, my pee just smells like whiskey, so I figured that's probably good. I don't suggest the whiskey, but that's more expensive. I would also like to, at some point, talk to you a little bit about your whole situation. It's going to be wonderful for my medical record. Yeah, what you say? I got about four years left on a 30 year sentence. <laughs> oh, that's no. what's going on. Oh, no. <laughs> Again, that's pretty bleak. Scooter, yeah. Scooter. Scoot, I grew up in a 26. rough riding place. Oh, Scoot, yep. you're a rough 26, my guy. 26, but feels 48. Feels 48. That's about right. All right. What uh, the owner of the trading post is a, a, a quiet voice, but charming gentleman named Wyatt Slater. Uh, Ooh, okay. short, shorter, muscular, but handsome. My goodness. Nice short king. I don't, okay. I don't trust people with two, two first names. <laughs> you, 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 you know, you know. Scooter shooters, complicated. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> that'll be, that'll be five dollars for the medicine, darling. Are you a doctor? I am a doctor, Mary Marsh. Uh, Why it's later? It's a pleasure. So we're all in love with Wyatt. <laughs> cool. yeah. I don't like two first names, but I can overlook it for the action. Yeah, yeah, That's for sure. It's possible we've been on a road a long time, but everyone in Copenhagen <laughs> is so attractive. It's so, my goodness. It was so beautiful. Wyatt, my goodness. Well, I thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, his, his Irish brogue accent is, is very, as he's counting out things, a small battery pack for you, my friend. Thank you very and much. And best of luck to you. Thank you. And you, we're looking for smelling things nope, or no? No, I'm looking for a lasso, sir. Ah, yes, the uh, the double braided. Yes. Well, this is the finest. It's a fine bit. Wow. So there you are. This is beautiful. You're a fine bit. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll be five dollars as well. There you are. Yes, Thank you. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. And for you, Scooter, oh. Scooter McShooter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello there, again. Again. Can I help you with anything? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a scope, but I don't exactly have the money to cover it. So right, that'll be twelve. Like I said, I don't. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna lean in. Scoo, are you using your feminine wild <laughs> to get a discount? I mean, it worked pretty well, uh, really. Look, but <laughs> I, uh, you know, I have this voice, and I've been told it can get me places. <laughs> Charisma comes from different places, you know. Uh, I'm gonna lean in and be like, I'm fine with uh, Scooter spending our money on a scope because yeah. if he, we need no, he's, him, he's we a need good shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't want to take the kills away from you, but I will. I, no, please, no, do. please, 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 I do not. I, I do not. I, I don't want. Some of you don't have the stomach for murder, <laughs> right. so. Honestly, 
<laughs> Unless we're using the whole animal we are murdering. I don't want any part oh, of Oh, of course we use all of it. Yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah, I know. Monsters. You can turn hooves into gold. Uh, glue. <laughs> so so get, I was get this out of your system before you finish up with it. I, I once I once tried yeah, to sell blue as gold and it didn't work okay. out well. Get your words all yeah, laid I, out in the in the order you I'm want. I'm trying. Before you charm this before you try. to Wyatt again. So Wyatt, I got twelve dollars, it appears. <laughs> but I was wondering <clears throat> and he throws his hair in fact he goes oh, he, oh he my oh, like, hair down and <laughs> throws it back all the goodness. dust from the road comes out of his hair and hits <laughs> oh, 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 oh there it is <laughs> I should sell that no <laughs> I was wondering with your fine Irish accent and banging I can hear Sean laughing up there <laughs> banging physical physique there you can't oh. I got trouble for this. I'm sorry. I'm wondering if maybe you could give it to me for ten dollars. Roll me a charm, you oh handsome God. devil. Um, oh I'll God. say I'll say difficulty four. Also, okay. whatever shampoo you use, it's in actually real life really, is really it does smell really really good in really here nice. right now. It smells really it's good. Really, I took a shower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. In this, this state it's of been, California, Ron's killing it. Been a day. It's been a day. Ace in the hole. Woo! That's two. two. And a hit. Three. The three. It's a real horse situation over here. Mm -hmm. I'll do you 11. You oh. can do me 11. That's fine. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, here's your 11. I Good. do. I do apologize. These are desperate times. It's obviously a little bit thinner. Oh, I am definitely days. desperate, so it makes sense. <laughs> it's so hot here. I don't know. I'm getting a case of the baby. <laughs> and, uh, I and he pulls out and 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 yeah. includes a, a small uh, uh, like a terry cloth to to wipe it. This will help you keep it clean. I am just. <laughs> For Clint's you know, accent has this and, oh, yeah, has, yeah. and the salt and pepper beer, all of it is just doing me right right now. It's a good thing I got four upgrade slots because slap on that scope, baby. There we go. I will, I will happily install the scope on the Fan rifle, -tastic. and I will try and use the battery pack that I've acquired to upgrade her. Oh, uh, Ooh, great. Okay, now it says the battery pack includes uh, two charges, so it's good for an additional two charges. Nice. Okay. So, all right. Uh, now you you had turned it off because you you had seen the sign that said no sweeping uh, on, on once you arrived in town. So is it a charge day? Is that so how it works? We can maybe or? do it in the desert. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Like, once yeah, you, you get out of town, yeah. basically, turning it back if, if I if I understand the rules correctly, operating a four stall like one charge gives you three hours. That yes. sounds right. Yes. Right. Two so, charges that last up to three hours. Yeah. So and now we have two extra. Yeah, yeah, and Glinda said really it would be a good. couple hours on horseback, so yeah. we're actually we're, we're yeah. looking yeah, good. That's exactly. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. As you get back on your horses, who probably thought they were done for the day. Like, <laughs> oh, like, I'm oh, so sorry. Before we get back on it, I literally go up to Arthur and start rubbing myself on it. <laughs> I hope this is okay. No, I try to make you feel good while I do it. Is Arthur good? Do with come this? back safe. I'll do my best. I'll All do right. my darn best. We do need a doctor around these parts, so. Well, I'm happy marriage. to oblige. Never wanted to be a doctor more in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he'll 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 give you just a, ni a nice tip of a tip. Well, no, he's not wearing a hat, but he'll just kind of you know give you the nice. charming best of oh. you. Mm -hmm. And the sun is just starting to set as you're mounting your horses with a combination of excitement and anxiety, and you've been shown on the map that this trip this this trip will take a few hours at the minimum, as we said. But let's be honest, these are desperate times and y'all are desperate people. Mm -hmm. yes. um, 70 when we get back. You start, to, you start the ride out of town and probably just shortly after reaching once again the city limits, you turn back on your backpack forestall as you, you find the trail on the map that Glenda set out for you that you see quickly becomes a fairly steep climb on your, on, on your horses as you head north. It's a different road than the one that you came in because it seems to be bisecting the, uh, the town of Topaz Creek. You head north towards Copper Canyon. And if you look over your shoulder, you see the friendly side of Topaz Creek fading away in the distance. You can tell that this passage isn't as often traveled as the one you came in on, and it's not too long before the dust and the dirt have started to make the way forward, occasionally a little difficult to make out. Who is leading? I am. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, need I have you. a compass as well. Excellent. I need you to make an intuition check, target of three. Ooh. Uh, Great, I'd like to, so... 
Yes. That's a good question. <laughs> great question. Great I assume question. it would be something like sharpshooter. One of the better like, questions great question. anyone's asked you an extra today. Guy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That sounds right. Okay. Um, Put it in the game. No, I'm just and we'll answer that when we get there. Okay. okay. So, um, I get to roll um, five uh, black bullets because I get an extra one bullet to wow. intuition rolls nice. made to navigate. Wow. Oh. Yes. So I got ace in the hole there for we go. two. There we go. And then I got two re rolls. Right. The spurs are re rolls. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because you are you are uh, this is one of your talents. Yes. Yeah. You're proficient in yeah. yeah. Uh, in uh, intuition. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. and I got that another right. ace in a hole, and oh. I got a uh, so four, five, six. Oh, dang! Wow! Write down the other ace in the hole. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like that grid. Six, That's a nice grid. You are, you are undeterred. Uh, you are very easily able to make out this trail, even though it's foreign territory for you. You've never quite been this, and it's even a different type of territory, this high desert. But you're very able to go like. You've got your compass, and you're like, this way is north, yep. and there is the trail. So you are making excellent time right as you continue on. But after about 30 minutes or so, in the rapidly fading light of the late afternoon, mm -hmm. you round a bend, and you come across a, ver a fairly grisly sight. Uh-oh. There's a horde of flies buzzing in a feeding frenzy. Oh, this is not good. Over the bones and picked over flesh of <laughs> what looks to be, I mean, with your very high intuition check, a recently killed cow. Oh, dear. Oh. You're not sure why or how a cattle could be this far out. It probably ran off from a drive or, or broke through a fence somewhere. But something has made a meal of this poor beast. Okay, um... Who? Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, well, let's, um... You, you are able to tell, again with that ridiculously yeah. high roll, that this cow did not die of ordinary causes, oh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there is large footprints can be found around the crime scene, so to speak. So I like to get off Arthur, <laughs> and I go up to the, the carcass of this cow, mm -hmm. and I shoo the flies away. <laughs> Just, ah. mm -hmm. um, It's it, difficult. They definitely want to come back. They want to come they, back. They'll scatter, yeah. Um, and I say, uh, so, it, it, so you say non-natural causes, but... Um, You're able to see a rib cage with a little bit of meat still left on it, but you are able to see like cracks in the bone and even scratches. Ooh. Are we talking like claw <laughs> yeah. into? So as you take a look at these tracks, um, you're able to see large quadrupedal. Okay. Um, and even again, after a moment or two and kind of like moving some of the dirt out of the way to get a good look at the track, undeniable toe beans. This was a large cat. Okay, beans. great. That's good to know because I was trying to see if it was human, like human unnatural or oh, no. nature unnatural. Okay, because it is nature unnatural. A very large cat. A very, very large, large cat. cat. Um, grizzly question. Mm -hmm. um, how much of like the cow is still on its bones? I was going to ask the same question. Really? Yeah, because we need rations. Yep. Not much. <laughs> and as a doctor, yeah. you would probably not feel safe. Uh, okay. I would just recommend <laughs> All right. maybe leathers. <laughs> That's about it. This right. is not free. Yeah, it's been out in the sun too long. No. Um, yeah. Rub your bullets in it. And so I, um, I close the cow's <laughs> <What>? eyes. Um, <laughs> And literally, Scooter starts taking some of his bullets wow. and like sticking it in the meat and like rubbing Ooh. it on there and putting let's, it back. Um, right. Let's respect the animal that has died today. Um, you can still like rub it in its blood. That's fine oh, okay. on there. But um, I'm gonna like uh, very um, thoughtfully skin the cow mm -hmm. to take its leather, mm -hmm. so it's not been a waste. Mm -hmm. Its death has not been a waste. Got it. Okay. Should we maybe, do we have, is there like a pit or anything? Like, is there like a lower part of ground we can just like get it? There's some small the canyons yeah. or, you know, a rise and hillocks and, and there and off to the side yeah. of the road that you're fairly I, able to move, move it off the road. Yeah. burial or Well, least. so interestingly enough, um, it is 
kind of good for nature to take its course. So um, we'll take the leathers and we'll let the flies have their feast. Flies gotta eat. Mm -hmm. And it'll become back to the, the and earth. Casey, that's making perfect sense to you because the hairs on your wrist are like, well, the sun is going Yeah, this is going to take a long time. Yeah, we should probably keep going. All right, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Thank you, though. It is so fascinating. It's so it weird. Really <laughs> it just sticks right up. It just sticks there. right up. Yeah. It's, it's like a sundial. It yep. really just, all right. When we but, get back to town, we'll get back to town. But your heartbeat definitely quickens as you continue your journey and you kind of know Very now scary. that there is there is some kind of killer out here Toby's. in this territory. Toby. <laughs> the Very dusty agile. dunes and the hillocks to either side of you give you a little comfort as you feel like you'd be able to see anything coming from a good distance off. Mm -hmm. But with the sunlight waning and the shadows growing longer, it's hard not to feel like the clock is ticking or the hair is on the wrist. Are also ticking. ticking. <laughs> Wait, do they also they make they noise? Also make noise. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow, that is weird. That is just, <laughs> they just like, where is your family from again? Because my goodness, from, this is a medical discovery. We're from the, uh, the country of Parmesia. 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 It all ties together. It's alternate history. Who's to say there ain't one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, get on it, Rune Foundry. <laughs> Parmesia. Parmesian Adventures. Anyway, your horses crest a hill and you find an intimidating sight in front of you. Oh, Lord. Some 100 feet in front of you, your trail is bisected by a gorge nearly 30 feet wide. The oh. sound of rushing water can be heard from below and a long stone bridge crosses the gap. On your side near the bridge is a simple wooden outpost. Looks like a single room dug out shelter, a waypoint, or a safe house for travelers on the road. There's also a sizable forestall attached to the outpost's exterior wall. The bridge spans the gap of the gorge using carefully placed boulders cemented together in a sturdy archway. But if you were to approach, you'd be able to see that it goes about three stories down 30, 40 feet before a drop into a, a narrow Russian river. Are you afraid of I heights? I can't. My feet have to be on the ground. <laughs> well, the bridge is technically... It's on the ground. It's made of stone, which comes from the ground. It's floating. <laughs> I've always wondered this, actually, like, how do people make bridges? I will be happy to show <laughs> you. Oh, boy. The engineer just got real excited. Exactly. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, how? It yeah. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so what I'm gonna, it exists. So, oh, I'm, I'm going to jump it. off I don't like horse, it. I don't trust it. And I'm going to start drawing schematics of how you would make a bridge. Which is basically and, a bunch of triangles. Exactly. <laughs> and explain so the... So they build a little bit of the bridge, and then they build more of the yep, bridge. Yep, that's just it. And then that's you got that, that middle corner, that middle stone is what keeps the whole thing together. And then I'm just going out with all the schematics. Oh like, so you don't have to be afraid because you see, if you take this and that and one of these and you wrap Doctor, it back. Casey, can you just roll an roll a, I can just roll an intellect. Out. Or, I can put, put you out. I can put you out. I can. I can put you out if that is what you need. As you're through this, as you're doing this, say yes. Roll an intuition. I also can put you out if you need it. It'll be less doctoring, though. I think. I think I'll handle it. Yeah, for sure. No concussions in this, in this crib. It takes you a minute, and as you're getting closer to the bridge, you're just you're really getting excited, and you are lost in the sauce of describing how to really, you know, re really make this. But even with just a one, you do get there's a sound that seems a little strange to you. In fact, it's a lack of sound. Oh no! Oh, like oh, the so, forestall is quiet. Oh. I'm gonna head over to that forestall and take a look at it. Oh, hey, where are you going? So it's the forestall isn't making the normal sounds. It makes you know, the sound like it's the the Yeah, well, you okay? You going alone? That's fine. <laughs> it's not far. It's, it's it's only about a hundred feet from. Where I you got are, you but... covered with this here scope. <laughs> <laughs> but you you walk up to this dugout shelter with it's just, it's just an entrance and two side walls constructed of old dried out logs. The rear wall made of red dirt and clay found in the area. The low roof is covered in bark shingles, and as you are verified as you're able to get closer, this forestall is not making any sound. No mechanical buzzing, the telltale sound that you are so familiar with. Uh, it definitely appears to be broken. Oh, uh, this forestall ain't functioning. Um, now, do I, does it look like it's been physically damaged, or is it a situation where like we have an extra battery, we just need to plug it in a battery? Uh, it's definitely not just missing a battery. There does seem to be something broken. Roll me. 
Yeah, would that be intuition? Probably. Like, yeah, would investigate be. is intuition. So, or inve mostly. yes, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. The funny thing is, as a mechanic, oh. my intuition is terrible. Interesting. Um, Interesting. I'm gonna just put that out. What, what is your what is craft. your mechanic? Finesse is craft. Oh, craft. Yes, finesse. I like that. Yes. Okay, craft. That's a little better. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Ron. Yep. Uh, We're learning this game together, folks. I definitely was. Uh, that's. Uh, You're fine. I don't get to reroll that. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Finesse. Zero. Finesse, though. Finesse is your... I don't have a... No, I don't. Oh. You don't have a reroll? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I do have a reroll okay, for that one. Is. I apologize. No, that's okay. One. Okay. <laughs> With hey. a one. One. Okay. The one. Uh, for those of you who don't know me... Oh, right. My name is Adam, <laughs> and I roll terribly. And yet, and yet he plays so many games. Hi, yep. Adam. Hello. <laughs> um, okay. It, it appears to be broken. And it is not just missing a battery. It, you're unsure. It seems a, it's an unfamiliar model to you. Uh, perhaps some wires across someplace. Maybe, maybe something's disconnected in a way that you're not able to tell. But you just like it's not working, and it's not just a simple fix. Yeah. Uh, guys, this isn't good. This forestall has been terribly uh, maintained over the years, oh. and thus it is not functioning at all. Which means that we could be in some serious trouble here if uh, this part does seem to have the nature. Why are you looking all around? It, because it, 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 I don't know if there's something around us. All right, because uh, the sense I'm getting is you quite don't know what wrong, what's wrong with this thing. I know all sorts of things <laughs> about various things, okay. and this thing yeah. is not it's well not maintained. It's no, it's it, not thinking. I have um, so one of my talents is four stalls. Mm. Oh. Uh, you're gonna walk up and be like, embarrassing. Twitch, you gotta switch it. <laughs> embarrassing. Try unplugging and replugging. <laughs> yes. Can, can I try the old roll reboot? Four stalls? Like, uh, can I roll? Um, it would be what a finesse. Uh, yeah, would yeah. That? If you'd I, like I to just, roll, a finesse. I'm just curious, and uh, it's not to embarrass you. Or no, anything. I'm, I'm just, scooter. Yeah. While this is all going on, uh -huh. and you're kind of keeping out, keeping lookout, do do roll me an intuition. Oh, you there. hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> While you're doing that, why don't you check you out know, the area? Yeah, yeah. You're not doing nothing. Uh, um, we're gonna call that. Uh, don't reroll those. One. Okay. Oh boy. Also one. Okay. Oh, no. I'm too busy trying to figure out what Layla's doing over there. Uh, <laughs> same unfortunate. It is, is it like you step up and you're like, no, no, obviously. Oh wow. No, I don't. no, it's just weird. That's what I'm saying. No, Thank you're you. you're right. No, it's Thank just you. really I'm just, weird. I'm looking at it through here through the scope. It looks very weird. <laughs> Even with just a one that you're able to tell, you do see some items inside the the outpost with the, the doors hanging wide. Ooh, loot! All right, all right, all right. We're just gonna. I I'm, I have charm, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna approach the sure. uh, the outpost mm -hmm. and see if there's anybody in there. Okay. Hello. Anybody in here? It's quiet. I just see loot in there. All right. We'll just let's just. Take it slow. I get half. Half. <laughs> There's four of Damn. us. Four of us. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go inside the the, the room. Okay. Oh, uh, inside, it's the shadows are starting to grow longer, but you find a set of bunk beds and a small stove. Okay. Ooh. Rolling intuition. All right, intuition. Ooh, four black. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh wow. The doctor would be good at that. You can they? have half of the stones <laughs> <laughs> and one of the beds. Half. Give me one top of the bunk bed. <laughs> one, two. That's just two. 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 You find a small because chest. Because I don't reroll on it. Well. You find a small chest by the beds. Hmm. Simple enough, and uh. you do get excited for just a moment. But inside, an old leather journal. Oh, I gotta read the journal. Sure. Another journaler, a fellow journaler, and I take out my journal and I make oh. him kiss. Oh, <laughs> my journal. Oh. Tell me your secrets, journal. <laughs> you find inside uh, multiple entries from a variety of passersby, like a like a road book. Oh my god, it's like a, a, guess like a log book. book. The first one you find, <gasps> March eighteenth. Hello. Thank the heavens for this place. Yesterday afternoon, the iron band around one of our wagon wheels separated from the rim and the wooden wheel split. Luckily, we were moving quite slow and didn't lose all our belongings. My husband and I had only just passed by this here cabin and were able to spend the night in safety, what with the fancy machine outside. We heard terrible screams during the night. It sounded to me that a woman was in danger, and I about left the warmth of the stove to help the poor soul. But my husband begged I stay indoors. His face was white as a sheet. I was compelled to trust him. 
He refuses to talk to me about it now, but I do wonder what that noise was. At any rate, we left some butter cookies for the next soul passing by. We hope you enjoy them. Oh, goodness. Thomas M. and Clarence Hauser. Can I say that you were reading that loud? Yeah, absolutely. I did it in that voice. Yeah. <laughs> well. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've been working on that one for a while. Wait, you're a doctor really and an actor? Nice. <laughs> I don't mean to brag. Or do you just play a doctor on a show? No, I'm a doctor. You're an actual I'm doctor? doctor. doctor. That's doctor. amazing. I, had to, I didn't have to change my last name to Marsh for nothing. <laughs> just under that, you see true. another single line. Yes. March 20. Oh. Butter cookies were delicious. Oh. E. Miles. Oh, that's nice. Are there more? Like, what's the most recent? Was there like those, those are the most three? recent? Those most recent. Uh, okay. But yes, it does seem you know you see various tales or, or various check-ins or you know people trying to make make other people smile. It's it's a nice reminder on and what this what this outpost has been used for, just sort of a safe waypoint for folks. I think I'm gonna write a, an entry. What's the date today? We said it was August. August eighth. August eighth. Two August days 8th. after. August eighth. <laughs> Wait, two Four days South after Lily, Lily, Layla's, Layla's birthday. birthday. That uh, we found a year and two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> then now she's a part of our family. Mm -hmm. That's right. A part, part of our posse. That's our right. Our squadron. squadron. Uh, August Gold day. Bigger. Forestall broken. Toe beans imminent. <laughs> No butter cookies to be found. And then I close it. E Miles. <laughs> yeah. uh, doctor. Looking at you. M M. And then I put the the journal back. Um, what did you roll on that intuition roll? Oh, on the intuition roll, I rolled two. It was a two. Two. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay. Um, is there? Oh. Yeah, I think uh, we should probably get this four stall fixed if we can. To to, to be here during the night. Well, right? for the uh, other people, for the other people who come this way. Oh, that's, Look, yeah, I've been looking at right. this four stall through right. a scope. That's really nice. Let me get up close. <laughs> Maybe I can figure something out. I don't know. This place is a beacon of hope for You're me. looking to roll a finesse? Yep. Or, okay. Finesse, yep. Okay, great. I mean, surprisingly, I have four of those. So. Amazing. <laughs> You're better at that than I, I am. Know. You get guns. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm All a mechanic. The guns. Uh, okay, that's an ace in a hole and a hit, so three. With a three. Um, you're, you can't quite tell. You can see that it's broken, and you can see that maybe there are, you do catch sight of a couple wires that do seem to be frayed and burnt away. Now, I don't know my wire colors all that well, but I'm pretty sure that red one burnt away when it should be blue. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But you are also able to see as you kind of are make a little, you know, poking around and seeing, you do also find um, a pistol-shaped soldering gun. Uh oh. And enough solder for a single use. <gasps> oh. Hey, uh, Jesse. Nope. Hey, Casey. <laughs> Three weeks. Sorry. Three weeks. Sorry, I can't. I don't know my own What's name. My name? Hey, you know, Casey Jones. Right. Okay, say it real Jesse fast. Jesse Jones, honestly. you know, yeah. Uh, I, I got some solder and a gun here. Jesse Combs. Uh, He's I, drunk. Hopefully I'll be able to cr uh, fix this for stall. So you would know, and you see this kind of soldering iron and this, and this, and this enough for one use, that uh, using this would add two black dye to a finesse roll made to fix technological devices and components, including this here for stall. It is, it is one, one use. Can I also use charm, specifically calm, which I'm talented in, oh. to encourage oh. you? I like it. I like it. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, uh, ro roll, roll, roll some calm. Yeah, roll for calm. Um, and I just want to make. Okay. <gasps> that's an ace in the hole. So that's hey. two. Okay. All right. So with a with a with an ace and with, I'm gonna lower your DC by one. Oh. You got it. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Um, you didn't roll in it and got all bumped. <laughs> I have to start rolling out. Roll of it. out of there! Wow. Uh, okay, that's two aces in the hole, two hits. Wow. Five. And another hit. Oh my! So no, 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 Scott. that's seven. <gasps> seven. Right? That's seven. Yes. Two aces in the hole. That's four. Two hits and three hits. Because I oh again. yeah, that is seven. This? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Sure Crushed enough, it. with with the help and the and the calming influence of your friend. 
uh, you are able to, you have a very sweaty moment with this soldering iron and this gun, and you just got just enough a little bit, and you're able to see like where dabbing the- dabbing the sweat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scalpel, no way. Uh, <laughs> green to the green. Here we go. And red to the red, and just. Come oh, you did it! Come. I did it, you guys. Then a lot of things happen. Uh, oh, that's great. That's always good. Uh, and this mechanical sound kicks into gear as the forestall comes back to life, and suddenly, and all your your hair kind of goes up on end just a little bit as you're very close to these electrical no. things, and <laughs> and then another sound from the bridge. As this force tall kicks into sp- into gear, and suddenly you hear another buzz. Oh no! Oh no! A different buzz. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And suddenly, from out from under the bridge, come a swarm oh. of cowboy hat-sized hornets. Oh, oh no! Oh my! And just horrifying, monstrous, largest side wasps and hornets you've ever seen. They have been infuriated by the kicking on of this forestall. And all of you suddenly kind of lose your breath as you see this, as they seem angered by this forestall. And and for just a moment, your life flashes before your eyes. What would you like to do? Oh my god! Uh, wow! Bang bang! Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of those out sure. Of the there are yeah. There is a swarm of them. Is there yeah. a door so, on this? this there is a there, there is a door that is hanging on. So the the thing is with the force stall, it does protect us, doesn't it? it? But only it, if it's programmed. It, for... it discourages it. It's not like it will repel them. Right is now. that what it was one of the stingers? The thing that like. Is that the thing that's uh, it's, it? it's been it's been impossible to tell, uh, but it, it's, it certainly seems like something perhaps damaged it. Uh, uh, that's maybe they don't not like a bad the noise. guess. I, I am going to say, everybody get inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. run it inside. Yeah. We can fire from the windows. Yeah, Are the I'm, windows in there? No. We're oh no! The door to shoot that um, I would yeah. like to, yeah, or, as I'm looking at the uh, the hornets, uh, use my monster insight. Oh. Yes. And it basically says you uh, you. Ex- your experience in the West gives you a great understanding of the monsters living there. The warden will reveal information about the behavior of a monster that you can see. <gasps> Additionally, uh. gain one bullet intuition um, on rolls made to scan. Ooh, uh, with a four stall. Okay, uh, roll roll your intuition die for for monster insight. Okay, that is uh, oh god. Uh, da, da, da. Well, oh no, oh um, no. Oh, and then I get okay an additional one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so we got uh, three successes. Oh, Amazing. Um, so you yeah, good thing for this ace in the hole, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you spot this, and you do see that these they aren't seeming to be coming after you. They are just oh. angered, and you you know wasps' nests. Unfortunately, you've known far too many in yeah. your in your days as a hunter and a tracker. <laughs> and you do see, and maybe as perhaps you're even able to lean out the side of the door and kind of keep yourself covered, you do see even the tip of like a large like, cone yeah. of a nest hanging from the bottom of this bridge. Wow. So while y'all are panicking and, and basically keeping cover, they do seem to be keeping their distance. They, for the moment, are swarming the bridge, but they are ca- but but they are not rushing in to attack. And the forestall, at least, does seem to be doing its job. You think, given a little bit of time, they'll calm down or disperse. We just we every we just need to do nothing, you guys. And Scooter is is <laughs> literally. <laughs> Scooter, Scooter, but I want us. No, no, wait, 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 wait. They're just scared. I'm They're gonna... just scared. So you're saying I should target the nest then? No, just leave them alone. Let let them let them do their thing. They're scared. We, we've changed their environment. I don't want a, a a sword in my liver. I just don't want that to happen. We, right. we need to talk about your liver. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... There's a sword in there of a different kind. Oh, <laughs> that's a fairy tale. <laughs> that's just what they tell you because they don't want you to drink whiskey. Who's but... telling you that? Who's they? <laughs> Wait, who's... The Dark Marshes. Are the Dark Marshes in the room with us right now? There's just one. It's just, me. <laughs> it's just, it's just you. me. You're right. You're right. And you said the same thing. I did. I did, didn't I? So, 
We're panicked, we're scared, but but doing anything is gonna make it a lot worse. Okay, uh, you're the you're the animal expert. I figured since you lived among them for so long, and you're always talking about how they're important and they are whatnot. Uh, well, I believe you. I didn't before I met you, but now I do. Okay, fine. And then he'll lower the. I, I open up the journal again. I'm like, forestall working actually. <laughs> <laughs> Big nest under bridge. Look out! <laughs> Could you add a note in there yeah, yeah, that yeah. whiskey is a sword in the liver? Whiskey is a sword in the liver. <laughs> Tell your friends! And, then, <laughs> see? and you all are slowly catching your breath standing here in this outpost as you see, sure enough, the forestall continues to whir and buzz in a, in a methodical, meditative, almost kind of sounding that's just, you know, a little comforting in a weird way. Oh. But the buzzing of those hornets and those wasps does slowly start to, to taper down and, and kind of calms now after have, enough time. We have a new predicament. Yep. Which is, we still got to cross that bridge. We? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> But we're we there. Are there. Oh, <laughs> and that's where we're going to go to intermission. Yeah! <laughs> uh, we'll be right back here in just a few with this uh, amazing posse of folk, and we'll see about this here Jesse and this here Clad, and Ooh. we'll cross those bridges. Right, <laughs> or, right or there. Or we, yeah. we won't. When we do get there. <laughs> we'll be right back. back welcome back friends uh we have got uh, four people stuck in a, in a in a small outpost while waiting for a horde of as i described them cowboy hat sized hornets to calm down around a nearby bridge but as one of y'all pointed out you're all in a little bit of a pickle as you need to cross that bridge seemingly so what would you like to do um so uh i was wondering yeah, okay, so is there what? something that Hornets or wasps or things like that do not appreciate smoke. Fire. Smoke. All smoke. right. Um, is it is it possible for us to create like some sort of smoke screen situation to help us get through the thing? Mm. Uh, bridge. Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can set that. Nope. That that bridge ain't made of wood. Nope. It's it's made of stone. <laughs> made of stone. Yeah. You set the bridge on fire. Burn the bridges that you cross. Like, is there anything that we <laughs> have you, that I emits a lot of you buy smoke. kerosene. I you got did. a candle, uh, and I got a blanket, so maybe if we set the blanket on fire... Well, well uh, something I know does give off a lot of smoke is green... green... Um, uh, greenery. Uh, greenery. Like, uh, like non-dead... Like, so if we were to have a bunch of green... Like a bouquet of grass? Hold sure. on, hold on. Yeah. I know you love animals. Yeah, Scoot. What are you trying and to say? And you love plants, too. I do. Are you going to feel bad if we burn living plants? Oh, that's a really good question. No, um, I think that plants can be used as material. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Whew. That's really nice. I didn't want to hurt the plants' feelings. One thing you would have noticed is that the only greenery that can be found in this kind of area is there at the gorge, sort of around, you know, near the water where it has kind of like come up. Yeah. It's, it's 30, 40 feet down to the water from where you can see, but there is a patch of greenery around the the what you call like the entrance to the bridge yeah. it lines the river at the bottom but then also covering the steep walls with patches of moss and you can see birds little rodents here and there as you can keep an eye out so if we light some of this green on fire yeah that might drive the wasps away or send them at least back into their nest which would allow us to quickly cut well cross. i think they're back in the nest currently right or are they still buzzing are around? they are they calm you waited you waited a bit and you you get the sense that most of them probably went back to their nest maybe some buzzed off, so to speak. Buzz <laughs> off. Uh, Buzz uh, off. Now, alternative. Sure. That nest seems to be lodged in with a small connector. I'm thinking. Drown them? 
Yeah. Get a, get a man a scope, and boy, he just wants to shoot <laughs> I anything. can shoot that. <laughs> the nets will fall in the water. The Russian w- rivers will take it away. But, but but then they'll fly back up. Yeah, couldn't they fly out? Oh, I'm pretty crash? sure when a wasp's wings gets wet, they can't fly no more. Oh, no, I meant before it hits yeah, the Yeah, they'll, they'll probably sense their nest. How fast are these wasps? <laughs> pretty fast, I'd say. Is he alive? They could be sneaky. Wasps are pretty fast. We could be sneaky. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I, I mean, I'm down but, for anything. I'm just, you know. So, uh, y'all figure it out. I believe in both all of you. I, I'm not crossing that bridge. <laughs> so, so whatever we do, I'm gonna be out. Fair. <laughs> I'm gonna be knocked out. All right. Um, Even if the wasps aren't there. This the it's not the wasps that bother me. It's the me. bridge oh, part. It's the bridge. It's 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 over. It's uh, making Layla nervous. I got smelling salts to wake you back up. Right. Um, Do you have right. any, um, what's it called? Cl- we uh, can the river. No, I, I got we can fjord points. the river. No, I, I know pressure points pretty good. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. great. So It'll just, Vulcan yeah, just very, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like this book. It's called sure. The Bride Princess. And it's wow. quite a few sequences Yeah, there. you read yeah. me some of those chapters. Yeah, really I did, nice. I did, I did. Oh. Uh, it's my favorite. Um, so if, my honor lords. Anybody want to be a couple? No? All right, just me. <laughs> but but um, if we wanted to shoot it, or we want to, if we want to do smoke, we can flip a coin. We could also try being sneaky. Oh, we could be sneaky. Yeah, I just want to try and be sneaky. And sneaky. Yeah. I mean, the horses don't make. We could be slow. We could electrocute them. <laughs> well, we don't have to hurt them, none. Oh, well, they're wasps, though. <laughs> I know, but I know wasps don't technically make honey. What do no, and they're quite do? aggressive. They, yeah. Scooter's definitely the wild card. Of yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I, don't think, I, don't think, I think I'm noticing no. this. In the no. ecosystem, what does a wasp the do? The only thing wasps do is pick a place and make it harder. Yeah. That's yeah. what they do. They, I think that's their whole bag. I'm just a man whose conscience lives in these three people. That's all it is. You are my conscience. If I just we were suggest around, it. I'd be shooting there'd everything. There'd be no eyes on no <laughs> organs. That's there'd right. There'd be no eyes. A long time. <laughs> There'd be no bullets left in our world. <laughs> That's right. So, but we can try to be sneaking if it's sneak. Oh. I'd say I'm not great at sneaking. Oh. But that's a lie. Ah. <laughs> Are you very I'm good at sneaking? I'm very, very good at sneaking. Yeah. So, I'm well, okay. we could have a, a right, plan right. B if, if sneaking don't work. Oh, Maybe I we see, can make a, a smoke situation happen. And then plan oh. C will be shooting. Who's the least sneaky? That's a good question. Like, yeah. Who's yeah, it's a finesse. Me, it would finesse. be a finesse. Let me, uh, let me break it down here. That's three. Who looks the least sneaky? Excuse me. <laughs> it's probably the doc. I'm just gonna say it might be the uh, doc. Oh, uh, we're actually both the same sneaky. Oh. So what we can right. do is I could I could knock out through Layla. Thank you, you. Give you the smell and salts to wake her up on the other side. All right. And then we and so you'll be on the other side, Great. safe. And then one of us will go, and the other one will stay at the end mm-hmm. with the candle just in case. The candle do what? The make smoke the smoke. Them out. Oh, well, we need to light a lot of this on fire to make enough smoke to take care of those guys. Yeah. Look, if none of that works, I'm just going to start shooting. Things. I get it. <laughs> That's fair. But all right, Hopefully let's there's try a better vantage point for you to be shooting on the other side That's of the fair. room. Let's try right, We're starting with sneaking alone, correct? Yep. All right, okay. I'm going to knock out Layla. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I will carry How would you Layla. like to so knock me out? I have some like, ether? Is it, yeah. <laughs> you, you chloroform? <laughs> no, no, no. Just bam, bam, bam. Oh, okay, great. Vulcan style. Yeah. Okay, sure. Fall him. Vulture style. Vulture style. So it's like... Wings. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We need to avoid the head trauma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to decide That'd if I, like, need, like, to make, to a, decide uh, if I need to make your roll for this, but I don't know. A, let's see. Uh, let's I don't see. even know what it would be. Finesse? Uh, it would be crafting. Crafting? Uh, no, well, I mean, no, no, no. Crafting like a human body. Is like, that's that feels yeah. Yeah, true, yeah, I think it would be hilarious. finesse. If you feel this, roll I with will finesse. Across this bridge. Yeah. Sneaking, <laughs> tinkering, or hiding an ace up this your sleeve. No, so funny. intuition. See, or like, no. I mean, intuition because it like you intuiting where the nerves no. would be. Yeah, I think it's finesse. Uh, yeah, You're right. of, of the of Scooter's the, got an addicted voice. Of the, <laughs> <laughs> You're trying of to, the options, <laughs> one could argue. I think so. finesse makes the most sense. All right, we got a. We the got, skills that you roll with, by the way, are charm, finesse, intuition, and nerve. We just got the one success. Okay, one, one success. success. That's that's okay. <laughs> um, you maybe aren't all the way out. I go limp. <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> my <laughs> eyes shut. <laughs> and you just and you just try to think of something. I'm yeah. tr- trying my very best to be like, if I pretend to be asleep, if I like play possum, mm-hmm. then I am possum. There you go. Sometimes you just lay for a while and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm basically there. So if we're doing a, if we're doing a group sneak, I think what I want to do this and Rune Foundry, forgive me because I don't think I'm see there. I want to correct myself because there is a mechanic for helping each other, which I forgot to do last time. Ah. So remind me next time if we want to help each other. I did the assist with my role. So with actually, but the 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 mechanic for for helping Mm -hmm. is that if if the warden agrees that another player could reasonably assist, Mm -hmm. then the helping player may roll half of their skill dice rounded up and add that result to the attempting player's skill result. Wow, that's That's really good. If multiple players are assisting, then they all roll half their dice for the skill, and only the most successful roll is added to the attack. And I have a pitch, it's called Posse Power. Posse Power! You can have that one for free. Very (laughs) nice, very nice. Okay, so if we're gonna do a group, hmm. Group sneak. A group finesse check, mm. which Layla, you are I'm unconscious. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> You're doing your best. One success. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm close. You're close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make a twilight. <laughs> you just like punch him in the face, and you're like, "That did it." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make this because it's all of you. All of you. We're gonna make a uh, we're gonna make a difficulty. So normally five is a very difficult roll, but mm. since we're doing this for four different people and horses, mm. I'm gonna make the overall difficulty of seven. I love that. Oh, yeah. I love that. So who wait who's uh, who's doing it and who's helping? Who's got now the four stall has certainly helped help okay. kind of restore this calm to this. So it might have probably would have been a lot higher. Right. Oh, because you probably would have had a fight on your hand if that four stall oh, hadn't yeah. been working. Yeah, I'll bet. Ooh, yeah. 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 I'm pretty sneaky. Why don't you take the lead and we will follow behind? All right. So uh, that's Layla on the shoulder. Yeah, there you go. Now, yeah. so I, so all roll your finesse together, or are you, or are you two helping him? Because it's like a group sneak. Are we an of? So yeah. All right. Yeah. Roll your. So yeah. so so when there's a group help. Yeah. You both roll half of your finesse roll, round right. it up, okay. and yeah. whichever I'll gets higher down. will we'll add to his. Right. Okay. okay. Ooh! Uh, ace in the hole, so two. Great. I got that as well. Ooh! Four. Uh, no, just, I, just, no. just two. I two. rolled a blank, oh. an ace in the hole, and two hits. So I have four total by myself. Four? So six. So six. Okay. Can I help? By being <laughs> unconscious, you are helping the sneak, one could argue. Roll a nerve. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes that sense. Makes that makes sense for Roll me, actually. Roll a nerve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, okay, and I'm going to take is... half your nerve and Ooh. add. And if it's fear, it would be based charm, according to their statuses. If, if but it's also fear. stomach and bad yeah, beans or enough. like, yeah. 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 You know, I enough. think this is a nerve roll. Oh, dang. Wait, what, what am I doing? <laughs> you rolled your nerve roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nerve. Uh, one, two, three, four, myself. Four. Okay. Nice. So here's what happens. Mm. As the four of you and Scooter, you you have you have uh, you've put Layla uh, on top of on top of the horse, and you are basically keeping Layla steady, but lead in the pack all at the same time. And the two of you, you you helped at exactly the same level. Mm-hmm. So you all have just doing your best to hold your breath, and you think you do here as a clop 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 as the horse's hooves hit the stone bridge, but soft as can be. And you all are making your way. And just and just when you think, you hear the <laughs> Layla, from your not quite entirely unconscious oh, state, it it's probably a real good thing she didn't knock you all the way out. Because you are able to just steady Scooter when you feel him jittery. <laughs> And with, I mean, I don't even know how to calculate, but basically with what probably would announce at least an eight, uh, the group of you are able to sneak successfully and quietly enough across the stone bridge. Your eyes are closed, remain closed the whole time because this is not a very wide stone bridge and the sounds of the rushing water in your ears echoing up from this cavern like are, are really starting to mess with you. I don't like that. Mm. But... You stomach it with a real strong nerve roll. And very brave. And make your way across. 
You know, now that we're across, we probably should have wrapped something around the hooves of the, of the horse. <laughs> I um, have bandages. Yeah, we didn't think All to do that. All of Casey's best ideas come after that. <laughs> I mean, I thought burning stuff was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, look, bad. normally yeah, I'm all down hooves. for burning it to the ground. <laughs> All right, we, we best hurry, folks. My arm hairs are straight up now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm far away, but I, like, crack the, sm- the smelling salts open just a little bit and hope that it, like, wafts. It wafts, yeah. yeah. It just, like, I catch it in the wind. I, yeah. And I'm... <laughs> you did great. Roll a charm roll. Ooh. Ooh. Um, that is a... F- oh, wait. Uh, uh, no, no. That is a failure? Because yeah. it's a spur? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh... She wasn't totally knocked yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come away. Yeah. Oh, it's man. No, what no. happened? I mean, a lot, like a stress sweat. I am just a sweaty, <laughs> slippy. Dab, dab, dab. Yeah. Dab, 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 dab. Um, this is my dab and neck. <laughs> it's been on I've noticed it. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought your dab and neck. on the trail. DM on yeah. the embroidered it. The next leg of the journey, it, it's a little misleading because... The, the shadows has certainly started to grow long, but it isn't it isn't long before you see in the distance an iconic landmark, which is a brilliant, rusty-colored canyon with walls hundreds of feet high, towering above you, and it's not long before the sun just disappears behind them. And so it's starting to get very dark. The darkness is coming quicker, and it takes you... The, the walls are so high that you, you think it's closer than it is, but it actually takes about a solid hour. It's on... cool if I light the candle just for ambiance. I'm sure. Well, I was I thinking we should maybe... Uh, I'm, we might have a lantern in our saddlebags. Awesome. Yeah. Should we be good with that? Oh. I, 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 <laughs> that makes perfect sense. So, like, I, I would reach into my saddlebag and pull out, like, a bullseye-style lantern mm-hmm. so that we can, like, shine it flashlight-style nice. as we proceed. And I'm going to give it to the person in front. Yes. There's very little desert uh, vegetation in the area, but there's some. And in some parts, as you sort of make your way down into this canyon floor with the walls on either side of you, it gets fairly thin, wide enough to maybe, if you were on covered wagon, which you're not, but basically if you're side-by-side horseways, the canyon walls in some spots get pretty tight on either side. It gets a little claustrophobic. Mm. Um, As you're traveling, the creek water is just ever so slightly going in between your horse's legs. It's not very deep. It's just kind of, kind of, you can tell there are probably seasons where it's completely dry. But you notice that the water here, the minerals are turning it a pale blue. Which even in this very low light contrasts beautifully with the burning copper sands on either side of the, of the cliffs. Why, why is the water so blue? Does anyone know about minerals? Uh... Listen, if it ain't an animal or a plant, I don't really know. But, but maybe, is it a rock under the water, or is it the water itself? It looks like it's tinted. It's tinted? Yeah, it looks it looks blue, and water ain't blue. I don't know about y'all, do but water is not blue. <laughs> I was going to say, if anybody knows this, I think the doctor would. Yeah, I right. think it's just because it's trapped in this here cavern. So it's this depressed. Place, so it's sad. <laughs> it's depressed it's water. Blue. Two success. With two success. Yeah, it's an ace in the hole. Uh, oh yeah, it's you're... Attractive. You know that whether it's, you know, there are dyes and there are natural, you know, like things that, things that cut, built off of a lot of what Layla has said as well, that there are things, there are minerals and, and variations that when you combine them or when, you know, the, the beautiful kaleidoscope of nature and in most unexpected ways. I think if I have a little bottle or something I'd like to just like scoop up a little bit for, sure and for testing later as you do you kind of reach down and you kind of reach some some water in, into this little bottle your eyes catch just a little bit of a glint off of the lantern a little bit in the distance and you see in the riverbed just in front of you where the canyon starts to widen out a small rectangular piece of sheet metal that's been washed down the creek lodged between two rocks so it's been like slowly eroding into the water supply? No. This is a bit more recent. Oh no. So as you're kind of going about this gathering of this lovely, you know, bit of water and how pretty it looks, mm. your eyes catch something else and it's it's a little it, it is reflecting the light ever so slightly, which is how you caught it, but it's rusted in spots. 
and it's got a good sized dent in it. But it is a piece of sheet metal. Casey? Stuck in between yeah. some rocks. Does that look like it came off the, uh, where the mechs you're always talking about? Sheet metal is primarily used to help uh, uh, encase a mech. Uh, am, am I speaking? Yep. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's very on. possible that that is from a mech. Good call. Uh, and I'm going to get a little closer to the sheet metal and take a look at it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I assume you told me there was a dent in it. It's so I'm just looking it. like, it's does it look like it was like ripped off a mech? Does it look like it fell off? It's. Uh, it looks like it's been bashed quite hard oh, in wow. some ways. Um, Something and- whooped this sheet metal butt good. Yeah, it doesn't, oh, like it's, it, there's not, like, yeah, it looks like, maybe not, it, it, hard to tell whether it'd be torn sure. or not. Roll, actually, roll, roll a, uh, an intuition roll. Spooky. Not good at that. Oh, oh but, uh, you are. <laughs> I got a one. A one? <laughs> Uh, with a one, I mean, yeah, it's it's hard to tell exactly what, it, but you can very clearly tell. It looks like there's been some damage, some impact to it, and uh, you maybe notice some broken hinges on one side. Oh boy, if this came off Jesse and Clyde's mech, this could be a serious problem. Whatever did that is big and strong. There's a big cat. Scooter oh, and bat. Cats, they do that bat thing. They oh, push yeah. things off Or the they side. make biscuits. Mount, they could have been making biscuits. Yeah, like, dip, dip, dip. They make biscuits? Yeah, they make biscuits. Yeah, they make biscuits. <laughs> yeah, they make biscuits. Like a chef? Yeah. That's I gotta eat me some cat biscuits. Scooter and Layla, both of you rolled and uh, roll me intuition, both of you, while while this yeah. is happening as well. Here's the thing. They go. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't intend for all this cat conversation, but this is cute. <laughs> intuition? Yes, please. Here's the thing. He's the whole... Mountain lions are Havelina's yeah. natural enemy. Yeah. I, cats are scary. Mm-hmm. They are they, they, oh my god, uh, three. Three. My mama used to tell me that cats plan your death. They do, <laughs> they wait, they count. They, they watch you, <laughs> they hang out. and they wait to eat you. Yeah, I hear they suck out children's souls when they lie on a bassinet. <laughs> what they really? Mean? That's what I heard. Oh my oh, god, no. god, I didn't know that. I heard the tail of a cat could kill a man. If well, you I'll say it then. I'm going to say it out loud. If you're a cat person, I don't trust it. <laughs> this, this is all based on the whoa, science of whoa. the day, my dear. Yeah. Yeah. That song has fire. knives coming at <laughs> oh, you. Oh my god. 19 <laughs> knives for every cat. No, I kind of want to cut to Just so I can be like, I got knives. I have some of my tongue. You want to find me? I'll lick you. <laughs> what did you roll, uh, Scooter? I got uh, I got an ace in the hole, so two. A two, and you rolled a. I rolled a three. A three. Okay. Um, you you are Scooter. You are hearing your voice is starting to echo up through the yeah. through the thinner walls, and it, it is starting to open up a little bit. It's not quite as tight as it was, but as you you find your eyes going up towards, and you do catch three vultures circling in the darkening sky. Not a good sign. And Layla, yep. Um, as you are kind of, you know, taken in quite a lot, and, and your senses are a little bit overwhelmed, you hear the faint cries of what sounds like a woman oh. or a child screaming in pain. Okay. Um, ooh, I got like actual chills. Here's the thing about uh, mountain lions, everyone. Sometimes. Here's the thing, I hear something. Uh-huh. It could be a person, okay. it could be a cat. Could be. Wait, well, what are you hearing? I hear it's a screaming, it's, a, it's a sharp. You know, cats are not That was in that journal like you people. read out loud. Yeah, a woman screaming. Yeah. Oh, you think you think the cat's screaming like a woman? <sighs> C- Casey, uh, it's so... Yes. Is it a cow? Okay. Woman? Is it? Yeah. No, it's it. No. Okay. I'm, no. If I'm, it's I'm, Halle Berry. I believe <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, she's <laughs> playing basketball. Oh my god! Stop her! You gotta stop her! The cat is wild. I already wild. Liked you. Stop. <laughs> um, now you're my people. <laughs> god, she really did play basketball. She was really she ball. Was really ball. She really was. Ball really ball. 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 If you haven't watched the Catwoman movie from the mid 2000s with Halle Berry, give it a watch. Uh, for the basketball. For the basketball. There was a, a mountain lion that would uh, that was hunting my squadron when I was really little. Mm-hmm. And, and remember it, the Abelinas are called squadrons. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the sounds they would make, I don't I don't it 
it could be a person, but I, I don't feel right about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and and Scooter's right. The shooter, Mc, any you. I just call um, him Scoot. It you call me Mick. Mick. That's, that's what my friends call me. You're Mick. all my friends. Where now. are you, Mick? Where are your okay, yeah. Mick. Did mention it's true in the journal that that there was a woman screaming and that mm. sweet husband, great husband, was like, "Don't go out there." Probably. Yeah. Do you tell us about the vultures? Oh yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you see me sort of aiming. All right. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, where, where, yeah, we so are, where are they cavern. circling? Yeah. Just a little, just not far ahead. So if vultures still circling, mm. that means something's not dead. Yeah. yeah you know, waiting, because waiting. yeah, oh, they're, they're they, eating. They yeah, or they sense. would be eating. They're waiting for it. Yeah, so that might be Jesse and Clyde up ahead, especially if their mech is in Wait, the current seat. Do cats wound their food before they eat it so that it cries and draws more food in? I, I just That stared. sounds like a L- thing Layla. a cat would do. Because <laughs> cats, cats are evil. Cats are evil. evil animals. We have Vicious animals. <laughs> Betty Steal and, the voices of women and scream. Oh my Betty God. and Jack, I love you. I don't take this. Yeah. Do your cats watch the might, show? Uh, uh, of course they <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. They, they gotta watch that. Well, they they support me. Yeah. Yeah. This is a fantasy world where cats of, are evil. Of, yeah. In our world, the cats You're not are evil. Yeah. Yeah. Frankie and Beans do not fans. watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe right. also doesn't watch the show. She watches a lot of Comedy Central. Exactly. Karma just sleeps a lot. I wish I had a cat. <laughs> Couldn't um, rescue. We, yeah. Uh, we, we should, uh, we should hurry, but... Yeah. Okay, okay. But keep an eye out for a cat, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Or a screaming woman. Yeah. Or a screaming woman. Yeah. Yeah, we tra- Whichever one we find, shoot it first. <laughs> yeah. Don't That's hesitate. what she told us. Don't hesitate, hesitate a little but bit. Hesitate but maybe a little bit. Smidge, but, but just, also don't. But also don't hesitate. <laughs> and uh, Scooter, Mick, go ahead. No, uh, I was just going to turn on my, my forestall. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So and it's call on, me it's Shooter sweep. when you want me to yeah. shoot okay. something. And call scooter me Scooter when, when you I want, want you me to get hesitate. out. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And as you're pointing direct ahead and just kind of, and, and you look and sure enough, you squint. And in the shadows, in the dark light, in, in the, the, the dark light, sure, that sounds right. Dark, dark light. light. Yeah, yeah, that's the right. Yeah. Yeah. You point and you're like, light. and sure enough, almost direct ahead, up through the Red Rock Canyon, right near where it starts to widen out a bit, you see, next is some black charred sage brush, sagebrush, a toppled over fallen mech. Well, mystery solved. I think that screaming woman's made of metal. Right, <laughs> L- Layla, you quickly see the stained sand with red with blood Goodness around gracious. the sides of the mech. Not, not looking good. Tracks almost that. one foot wide and two inches deep are scattered about the scene. But it's quiet One for the moment. One foot wide, two inch deep. <laughs> oh my God. Look, I he's a big boy. Yeah. I don't know why they made Max bleed red, but uh, these, these it are, looks like this Max been messed up. Uh, this, uh, uh, do the the tracks match the tracks we saw? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a big cat. It's a Jesse, big cat. Jesse, is that you? Oh goodness, oh, Jesse. Hello? Casey, do a social. Oh, all right. Casey! Excuse me. I am also in a social to be clear. Doctor, do a social! Yeah, Somebody, doctor. quickly! Doctor, Somebody do a social! social. The best thing. Clyde, is that you? Uh, Who, you who's you, there? You don't know us, we, but... We're here with Glenda. Yeah, Glenda, Glenda sent, sent us. us. Glenda! Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, I'm trapped! All right, all right. Help! Where, it's all right, it's all right. Where's Jesse? I don't know. I can't see him. I, I can't move. My, my, my leg is pinned. All do right. you happen to have a screaming woman with you? <laughs> Uh, no, it's that cat. You are right. I know. I know. It's so scary. Oh, we, we, we need to get. We need to get him and get the hell out of here. I Dunk. got. I got one dose of medicine. Yeah, I think he needs it. I got two yes. pain pills. I, and I got. I got curative care, which but, is something I can do in but, combat. But um, if he's yeah. trapped, we need something to lever. Yeah. I got a crowbar. The metal. Can we use the metal to create to a pry to pry him? Yeah. Can I investigate the the nature of his? Absolutely. Yes. You sort of rush up to the side of of this fallen mech. The intuition. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, cool. You find you you do find. I mean, I won't make you roll for this. Mm-hmm. Clyde, with his left leg pinned underneath this extremely heavy mech. Yeah. Yeah. It's his leg is clearly broken. Dried blood covers the skin where he's trapped. Clyde, I'm no doctor. 
That's good. But I do know a man who can build you a metal leg. <laughs> we may have to we may have to amputate. It's four. a common saying in the West. It's true. Uh, one ace in the hole, uh, overall four success. And this is just for an overall nice. investigation of the yes, suit, of, the, of his injuries. Okay, of, great. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, his, Historically speaking. his leg broke into hell, for sure. Um, he looks malnourished, oh. dehydrated, and he'll even say, it's been... <laughs> I've been trapped here almost a day. I got a water skin. You're already so down there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give this him water from my water skin. Sure. Oh, oh, can I? I I'm gonna I hand you um, one of my rations. There's some supplies in the back. I can't even reach. Oh, oh, wait. All oh, right. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, I hand you a ration to give him. Oh, right, yeah. Here's some. Here's some food. Oh, oh, uh, I pull out my Eastling flicks fixed blade. Just let me know when I gotta cut it off. <laughs> We, we got Let's yet. try and we'll, lever we'll, it we'll, off you know. first. Oh, do you see Jesse? Do you see Jesse out there? Um, I take him? the bullseye lantern and I'm looking for any sound. You're looking Jesse. around and uh, you do find a the, on the opposite side of the mech of this fallen thing hidden from your sight from where you where you walked up originally. You do find the body of Jesse and it's not he's not moving. Oh, good. Is he face down or is he face up? Um, prone on his side. Okay. Uh, Mick, uh, quickly, sort of, when he sees the body and people are about to say, uh, he says, oh no, we haven't found Jesse. Uh, we'll have to go looking for him or something. Uh, so, um, I'm going to, I'm going to say, are you going to take a look I at I think I'm going to, I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I haven't yeah. found him. Uh, <laughs> oh, Layla, you want to help me get that sheet metal? Maybe we can use the pry. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Is he alive? The, 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 uh, Clyde, I mean. Clyde is, Clyde is alive. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> He's investigate. talking. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look. Uh, of course, I'm alive. Can I? Can I kind of from where from where my vantage point is like see if I can just quickly yeah, talk if absolutely. He's dead or not? Yeah, roll me in. Uh, roll me another intuition. Roll. You got it. Layla and I are running to grab the yeah. sheet metal. Dean, mm -hmm. got it. That's I have two a crowbar. Sides. Another oh, ace in the hole. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. We'll use the crowbar then. Sorry. Oh. Another four. Uh, so no, just one ace in the hole. So okay. just two successes. Two successes. From where I'm standing. With two from where you're standing, it's hard. But after you do, after a moment, see perhaps a shallow hitching of his shoulders. Right. You think that perhaps he's just unconscious. Okay. Where All right. Layla, Lay Lay where, where are you up to something? I'm sorry. Oh, so, um, I, well, I was helping uh, Casey. Great. Yeah, we'll take the crowbar from yeah. our good friend okay. there. So we're uh, on, uh, using our combined strength to uh, remove the, the debris from... Got it. So you're yeah. just trying to get his leg yeah. loose. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's like a help, but that's like a group. Yeah. And, I, and yeah. I'll, I'll be like ready to, to pull to him. Yeah. So that's sure. like triple help. Sure, sure, sure. I like this. Okay. Um... I guess it would be nerve, right? Because lift, push, climb. Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. Uh, so let's. So you're gonna be rolling the nerve. Yeah. I, yeah. So uh, the two of you roll half your nerve. Oh boy. Okay. So it's. And whoever gets higher, will help. It's half rounded up. Half yes, rounded half up. rounded up. So three is just one. Uh, two. Two. Yeah. Well, they're so trying to get climb. Half of two is one. So two. <laughs> Half of one. No, it's just one. Okay, just one, right? Yeah, he's half half it up, you said. Half that half half happened to me too. Um, I was like, while they're getting Clyde no, out that's, from that's underneath that's the mech, uh, I'll grab Jesse and hitch him on the back of got Layla's it. horse. Nothing. I got a success for you. Yeah, I got a one. So Good two. two. Uh, it, 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 you, you start to move it, and and it's and it's hard going, and it's and he's ah, he lets out a cry. <sighs> That echoes can I try up to the do, canyon. Can I do a calm? Can I try to do a calm? Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. I am proficient in that, so hopefully. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. All right, that's an ace in the hole, and then another success of three successes. Yeah, uh, you, to calm Scooter him. is like yeah, maybe throwing you Jesse on the back of our Okay, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, may, Scooter, maybe you should try, because the two of us couldn't handle it. Oh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> All right, so with a calm, he is, he is almost... He is barely holding it's on. All right, you're gonna be all right. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Are we gonna try to roll again? I uh, yeah. As soon as I threw Jesse on top of okay, Arthur, I go back over there, grab the crowbar. Oh, you got Jesse. Flex. Yeah, I threw him on the back okay, of Arthur. Great. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna make Flex it a difficulty little. of four. Okay. Um, if you get a th eight, but with a three or a two, you will get him out, but he will lose his leg. All right, that's the can West. I, do, I don't know. Can I do, <laughs> I do, I do, I do 
what's happening anyway? I'm going to, because I'm going to just keep trying to pull him specifically. Right. Are, you, are you helping? I'm going to help. Okay, so roll help? half half your finesse, or uh, half your nerve. It was nerve? Yes. Okay, yeah, then I, you can all help still? Yes, yeah, okay. half your half All right, your on three, one, two, three. I rolled two aces in the hole and you're a hit. Cal- you're calming him, Doc. So okay, yeah, got just it, got so by myself, I rolled a five. Okay, great. I was of no help I whatsoever. I was of no help. <laughs> <laughs> you got five? Hi-ya! Yeah, I got a five. Yeah. You know what happens is like, he starts going like that. We see the bone and the blood and we're like, <laughs> and I still get it up. Yeah. <laughs> and with 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 a, a great amount of calm and he, you're able to still him and he stops thrashing that's for right, just a right. moment. And that's enough that it takes for Scooter to really, you get the crowbar and with the extra added leverage of using that sheet metal that you found, you're able to, and look, this thing's, Heavy. Heavy. It's like a train. But literally, you're just, whether you're able to like make a dent enough in the ground or just able to kind of jostle it ever so much, mm. you're able to time it just right that he is calm enough yeah. to also oof, pull go. himself out. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. You did great, you did great. I put like a hand on his chest. Thank you. It's, it's Jesse, all right? Jesse's on the horse. He's breathing. I'm gonna go check on Jesse. Okay. Doc, before you go, yes. do I need to take the leg? No, 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 no. He, oh, he's darn. all right. <laughs> he can keep the leg. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Please, please. I'm, I'm, I'm asking the warden. I'm asking the warden. I'd love ask you to, Clyde. Yeah. Oh my God. Warden Morgan, can he <laughs> yes. keep his leg? Okay. Yes, yes. With um, right. I'm gonna rest him up leg. against the. Clyde, can we take your leg? Yeah. I'm gonna rest him up against the cliffside wall. I will be back in just a second. I'm gonna okay. check on Jesse, and then I'm gonna come back here. All right. Okay. All right. I've. I, to go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. Of course. No, I'm just going to, while you're doing that, I'm just going to climb on top of the mech. Great. Because I want to survey the area because we were being awfully loud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm going to uh, do another intuition on Jesse. Now yes. He's- you I'll roll me an intuition, please. I will also Layla. Drop, I will drop a pain pill in uh, Clyde's mouth. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Find the lock box. That'll give him. Um, Great. Oh, interesting. It'll give him one hit point if, or one hit if, uh, if he had okay. me down. Okay. Three successes on three, the intuition. Nice, nice, nice. These are fun. Four. That's a fun system for rolling. Four. Yes. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Um, you you know instinctually that like boy, we're making a lot of noise, and you climb up on top of this mech and to kind of give get a good lookout mm-hmm. in all directions, the high walls and all, and and you are able to see after a moment, and the shadows are deep at this time. Yeah. And. But sure enough, with a four, climbing down a a narrow ridge on one wall, Mm -hmm. you see a terrifyingly large cat with teeth, saber tooth mountain lion. Oh no. Teeth are, hmm, I mean, picture a, a head about this big, it would. It looks like maybe not swallow you whole, but it may be in a couple gulps. Sword and a liver. So remember. It I- has, and it is stalking along the side of the ridge. It has not moved to attack it just yet, again. but with your very high intuition roll, you were able to catch its location, and it has come to investigate for sure. Uh, quietly, I say, remember how I. I lied and said that like I killed my family because that's a really ferocious animal thing to do. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. This is an interesting time to bring that up. No. <laughs> but you know what? Perfect did? timing. Mm. A mountain lion. Okay. I see. A big one. All right. All right. There's lots of them. Sure. There's one right there. All right. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, God. That we didn't bring around, bring along the spicy cow meat <laughs> because we could have thrown it to this darn. Said it's a cat. How big? It's huge. How big is his teeth? It, it's I don't know the size of me. Half okay. Of me. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's like like honestly, yeah, the size of your leg. It's the size of my leg. Okay, we got okay. two giant I'm gonna, teeth. Uh, when they when when Layla lets us know that this cat is nearby, uh, I'm gonna. Where is it? You're able to point it out, so it's easy. Uh, so I'm going to try to go use the mech as a sort of cover sure. situation easy, easy. and set up a sharpshooter and just wait for sure. that cat. Try to aim as best as I can and try to hit it right between Ooh. the eyes. As you're able to do this, you have started to go inside the mech, and Clyde will see you doing it. It's under the cabin floor. Now go and trap door. 
open the trap door. Uh, yeah, you make your way inside this mech, and it doesn't smell great in here. I mean, it's two guys that are, like living in close proximity, but I mean, it's like a it's like a tank on legs, right? And so it's 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 a fairly large uh, compartment, um, but sure enough, as you are able to. Uh, you know, with with a little bit of Clyde's instructions, you find underneath one of the chairs, underneath one of these seats, you you find a trapdoor compartment. You're able to, even though it's on its side, make some. In fact, make a nerve or finesse to. I just want to see how quiet you're being. Two, two. Okay, and. It takes a lot, because this has been damaged, it's fallen on its side, things aren't where they should be. And you have to, you have to throw your shoulder into this seat. And you get it open, but there's another noise, and you all And sure enough, what falls out is the suitcase. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it, get out of the mech, and say, we gotta get out of here. How fast do cats run? Very, very fast. Very so fast. there ain't no running away. I got. Uh, I, I'm Romeo. almost quick intuition as well when when you're poking your head out from from there. We might have to sacrifice Arthur. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, I was gonna throw him Jesse, but okay. <laughs> How is Jesse? Jesse. <laughs> Three successes. From uh, the oh, nice. Uh, Jesse is lost a lot of blood. Okay. But with uh, your, it's if you were to take a moment to sort of patch him up, yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he would he would make it, you think, but you would have to get him back tonight. For All sure. right, I got first aid and I got the one dose of medicine. So okay. I it. think I'll use it for him. Okay. Uh, does that require a roll or is that for, just, it's just I think it's just an item for first aid. It, honestly, first aid is more so for these guys. Right, right, right. Uh, so yeah, I'll just use the one dose of medicine and okay. hope that's enough to stabilize I think that's him. one gold die of me- is, is that? Oh yeah, you said yes. one gold die one, of health. Yes, that's right. Okay. That is a re-roll? Yep. I don't know how that would work in this situation. Well, you've got first aid. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a doctor. I'll, I'll say you can Oh, re-roll. duh. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Nope. It's okay. just nothing. It's, it's unclear. Uh, you're unsure, basically, but it, it's... And it's you're nervous. You're you're keeping one eye on this yeah. on this uh, uh, saber tooth tiger as well, just off to the side. We gotta get back to that. Lot going on. Um, okay. Did you roll an intuition? Yeah. Zero. Yes. Zero. That is all you see. You, you got like, that hey briefcase. Hey guys, I found the lock. <laughs> you got that briefcase, and you were like, "Got it!" And you you are singly focused. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for that. Cat yes, about. for sure. Uh, you with with a moment, it kind of takes your eyes a moment to adjust. Uh, you you think you can? Yeah, you do see it. Oh my goodness! Well, as soon as I <coughs> can get a oh beat on it, there's a bullet coming down. Range. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I. Yep. <laughs> I mean. Yep. Don't die. Yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Roll. I'm just scared. Roll a monster intellect. Okay. Ooh. So is my insight? Your yes. Monster insight, yeah. Plus or one. Is it, yeah, it's, but you had a intuition. specific. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh one, God. two, three, four, and then one more. Four. Amazing. Okay. Wow. Um, you know cats. Yeah. Oh, A little too well, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These animals are driven by hunger. The longer it's gone without a meal, the more ferocious it'll be. You can see, obviously, it's stealthy. That that as much you can tell. Mm-hmm. It it is, but it can be relentless. It's awfully thin. The only thing that could truly deter a hungry lion, without maybe perhaps the help of a forest dog, is fire. But if it's hungry enough, it doesn't matter. It can be real hard to deter. It. What is, is your forest dog still sweeping, or can we focus it on the the cat? How do I do that? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a thing it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just focus it on a creature. It does. Yes, yes. I would like to focus it on the, the okay. cat. Okay, let's go back to our forestall uh, talents. Mm-hmm. All right. Go. Before I put the bullet down, maybe? You are, you are firing at it? Uh, yeah, as soon as I get a beat on it, that was what I was doing. Okay, got it. All right, oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood that. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, got it. Um, oh, okay. Then, then never mind. You're shooting. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I mean, I mean. Well, so the forestall. Am I scooter and am I shooter in here? <laughs> you, we can do both of these things because yeah. the forestall 
is basically, as we said, a deterrent. You know, it's right. it's off for monsters, like bug spray. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, if you are happening to damage it as well, it's possible that enough damage to it could also oh, deter send it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's also huge. And there is a town not too far from here. Sure. And it's one day it's going to get hungry enough. It's, it's going to come true. into town. It's going to eat a kid. Yeah. So I'm just saying, we could use the parts. Yeah. I can make me a saber tooth sword. Yeah. All right. So mm. four stalls. Yes. It looks like I roll for four stalls. You do roll for four stall. And I have uh, two grit. Okay. Um, you compare the result with the monster's size and the table below. Big. Okay. Great. Size. And this. Big. This uh, Big. this Big saber tooth so. mountain lion Big. is size medium. Oh. Medium. Um, that means so there's bigger big stuff have. out there. But I would say that this is long range. Okay. Uh, right now at the moment, might be short range. Uh, uh, well, right. <laughs> yep, well, right. So we need three hits. Um, from your roll for it to be successful. But you sh you are shooting first, mm -hmm. so okay. uh, fi fire when ready. Fire All right. when ready. So long range, you said? Uh, yes, long range. Okay. It is it is greater than thirty feet away for sure. All right. At uh, this point, okay. uh, I get one gold die of defense. Um, it's not gonna matter because I can sharpshooter pass it, so it, I bypass the first one anyway. Woo! Um, he could roll. Oh no, it's only yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, but he could roll an ace in the hole, which would give him two. <laughs> right, yeah, I just bypass one of them. Yeah. The scope. Uh huh. What does that do? Does that give me aim without Brit? It looks like so. I have scope here, yeah, um, and it, it basically increases the firing range from short range to long range. So you basically are like roll. a sniper mm -hmm. and roll half of the number of dice. Weird. That's so But it was already long range. <laughs> huh? Isn't that nice? That was uh, a nice like, oh, let me yeah. teach you how to use your sniper rifle. <laughs> yeah. um, oh. Two times so scope. Fire range for fur. Yeah, I already have a rifle, so I'm already long range. So well, so, but no, it's, so, but is it the same between short and long? No, it is black dice when short and gold when long. So the it, scope actually oh, hurts wow. me if yeah. I use it. So that could make it go from long to... to Wait, gold for long, and we're in long range or short range? Or distant. Right, currently we're in long. Right, so, you so get I get gold, 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 gold I already get two Yeah, gold. so he doesn't oh. need the... Oh. You know, I'll just make a call. Let's let's add an extra gold die. Great. Heck yeah. Right. I was Thanks, gonna say, Warden I was going to say, let me Warden aim Warden. without a grit, but I'll take the extra <laughs> yeah. gold die. That's fine by me. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so uh, I can do this twice. Nice. Okay. Wow. Yep. Spooky. Spooky. Uh, two aces, a hole, and a hit with nice. the first one. Okay. Um, and did you bypass your... the one defense? Okay. Uh, I won't use that eye because it didn't need to be one of those. But my second can, one. Can I support her? Yes. Forced all mechanic. Yeah. Uh, total of eight hits. Holy, holy. <laughs> wow. Your I'm name like, is Shooter. Yo, honestly, getting out of the tray really did something <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah, seriously. Uh, ace and so I got. Three. Three plus my one, four. I okay, to run got three, it. Four right. on the four stall roll. Eight points of damage on the rifle. On two shots of the rifle. A yep. crack rings out throughout these hills as uh, as the horses, uh, they're, they're a little scattered, but they're, they're used to it enough, but they definitely, it's been a moment and it's dark and there's things right. moving in all directions. But you were able to make dead aim on this on this saber tooth mountain lion climbing down the side of this mountain, and it you whack in the shoulder with with two shots from your from your scope rifle. Oh, that looked like a heart hit twice. It's still Ooh. running though. As it echoes throughout this canyon, uh, we're going into combat. Okay. So everybody, roll a finesse roll. roll so that finesse. was eight points of damage. I rolled wow. zero on my right. defense. So well, you rolled twice. Because it was two, it was two shots. Oh right, yeah. okay. Wow, blank on both. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hits total. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so uh, our version of initiative in this game is finesse. Um, so when combat starts, uh, Casey, what'd you roll? Two. Okay. One. One. Uh, one second. This feels this feels <laughs> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Gunslinger, scooter. Uh, three. 
Uh, one. One and one. One. Uh, I'll allow if uh, dealer's choice if whoever would like to go first, whatever you want to do. What's your What's your fight yeah. situation? You have that. You, you. I think you should go before me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I ha- I do have a thing I'd like to do, but if it, if it works, then maybe you can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're like we're like uh, tag team in each yeah, other. Yeah. 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 We're oh double dash. Right double right dashing. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Tiger gets to roll four oh, finesse no. die. Oh, so my God. Me and a tiger. I yes. have a tiger. That feels, that feels accurate. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a two as well. Cool. Okay. Or mountain lion. I can't, oh, saber tooth tiger, saber tooth mountain lion. Okay, Sabertooth great. Saber mountain lion. Dang. That's um, spooky. Okay. Uh, Scooter, you have six grit. Yep. to spend, correct? Yep. I do. On your yeah. turn. So I once do. combat starts and we get into a turn-based situation, we use, uh, your actions are basically called grit. Uh, now you can do various things, whether it's attack, whether it's dodge, things of that nature, spend a certain amount of grit. Firing your shotgun, as you said, ca- costs you four grit a turn. Mm-hmm. So obviously you could only do that once a turn. Mm-hmm. So you kind of have to, there's a little bit of a very interesting strategy of action economy to be used in this game, yep. but it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Scooter, you yep. at this point, the mountain lion, you would say is, um, I said long distance away. Mm-hmm. Uh, long range we'll say is about 80 feet away total. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, Everybody else is within five to ten feet of you, and including the mech and the horses. So I'm pretty sure that I can use two grit to prepare two actions outside of my turn. Okay. What What are those actions? You would uh, like so to do? one of them will be I have six. I've rolled more than six aces in the hole, so okay. I can do rapid fire. Oh. Which means. Um, time slows down and bullets fly. Spend one grit and choose one target within short range. Roll 6B and deal damage to this target equal to the number of hits rolled. And spend another grit to do a normal shot. So that would be six grit total. One grit to do rapid fire, one to action that on not my turn. Okay. Another grit to action not on my turn, and three to fire. So that's six total. Okay, so you're firing once on your turn? Nope. I'm waiting for both. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting yes. until the... The mountain lion gets within short range, and then I'm going to use the two actions that I prepared when okay. it happens. I don't envy you in this situation. I, okay, <laughs> we're learning a so lot. So I'm just waiting for the tiger to get within short range, and as soon Copy as it that. does, then my actions will Great, great, yeah. great. Uh, what did you roll on your four-stall roll? I rolled a two. A two. Or no, uh, I rolled two dice. I got one success, and you helped me for three success. Three so success. Okay. So four. So four that is, oh, four. Okay, that is what you needed. Oh, uh, nice. Actually, four is slightly better. Whew. Okay, great. Um, Thank you. You did a lot of heavy lifting. Thanks. <laughs> However, this thing is taking damage. You do get the sense it it is angered, but it is hungry. And you know, as you you know all from all of your monster intuition that it is really conflicted in this moment. But it is taking damage, a, a lot of damage, very quickly. But it sees several active meals in front of it. So for right now, it does seem to be, you know, shaking its head. It does seem bothered by the forestall, but for right now, it's continuing the battle. Yeah. Oof. Dang. Damn. Okay. Um, so it is now the mountain lion's turn. And Dang. Casey, your turn will be right after this. Sure. Um, it also has six grit. Uh, so it's oh, God. Moved. Yeah, not it's every like monster has. Not every like monster has six grit. This guy does. Dang. Uh, Dang. So, um, it's one grit per thirty feet. Yep. So, so it is going to spend three grit to run right at you, buddy. So as soon as it gets to short range, uh-huh. my understanding then is my actions go off. Correct. So let me do those. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the first one is just a regular shot. Okay. With the scope. Uh, uh, okay. That's in short range, so uh, I'm only using two black dice instead of three okay. gold. That's two hits. Okay. And then my rapid fire goes it off. Use, and you, it, does it still uh, shoot through the first defense? Because yes, I got a one a on a shooter. defense. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, so two. Yep. Okay. And then my rapid fire. So it's. Yeah. And then. 
boom, 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 like three in a row. Why and didn't you do that? <laughs> that had to be the thing. Uh, I could only do it when they're close enough. <laughs> and I mean, you are staring down a school bus. Yep, charging. I at get you. it. Yep. Me out. Me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so two ace in the holes, two hits. So a total of eight more. Whoa. Eight more damage. Eight more damage. Because I did that, the previous one was total two of well. eight. Got total it. of eight total. Wow. Of both, for wow, all wow, 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 wow. Um, you are, it is a, a, a lever action rifle just standing your ground. Yeah, as I think it's one of those yeah, like, Winchester. yeah. Yeah. Winchesters. For sure, as it is charging right at you, it's paws, and um, its mouth is opening wide as you get off your last shot, and with uh, three more grit, it is going to bite you. Yep. Oh, um, no. Yeah! So I roll- <laughs> I put 16 into it! <laughs> I roll three, uh, three gold die for Great. its bite, Great. and if the damage is greater than three, you take on the trapped status. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> that sucks. Ooh! <laughs> sucks for you. Do you have any- d No, you didn't yeah. use any dodge. Wow, wow! You I take. To put it down before it got to me. It is not as bad as it could have been. Great. As you take two hits, oh, two damage, yeah. as trapped. its claw, as its uh, giant teeth oh seem to just <laughs> rain oh, down. My liver! And one yeah. is, and one is, uh, one is perhaps caught just a little bit in your belt, yeah. but the other one just rips right into your side. Oh. That does not feel good. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> it is like right over mm -hmm. you. And it's pro your head is probably right at mouth. I mean, uh, it's it's very clear to all of you that this is uh, like it's scary, yeah. but he's keeping okay. his calm. Okay. Scooter. All right, uh, Casey, it is your turn. So as that mountain lion is running towards us, I would have dropped the lockbox. Sure. Pulled the shotgun. Nice. Uh, and a, it like it bites in the scooter, so I'm gonna flank it and then its side. I'm going to mm. fire my shotgun. Nice. Great. That's going to take four of my grit. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Three. Okay. So I hit for three. Uh, you you run around the side of this mech, just dropping the box and sh -sh -sh -sh, pulling the shotgun off your back and and into the side. It is not, it's like shooting the side of a barn. Yeah. I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't hard. I'd be worried if you didn't. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It, uh, that's, no, okay, so that is uh, still zero defense on that. Uh, I'm rolling terrible on my defense. Great, love So that it us. takes all three of, of those shots of, was it three? Yeah, three or four. Mm. Well, yeah, it's just three. Okay, the three as it, as it turns its head towards you, furious. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> oh no! I don't know why, what I thought was gonna happen. Oh god. I'm then gonna use my remaining two grit. I'm gonna save one for a dodge. Okay, And I'm great. gonna use the other two take cover behind the mech. Okay, got it, yeah, you So use... I'm gonna just shoot, bang, oh no! And I'm gonna die behind the <laughs> mech. And you can use one of your grit uh, as a dodge action that helps you defend any potential action that, that's right there, uh, right And, and you can also way. take cover, which reduces the amount of, Great. I don't know, it's like dice or high I, That sounds right. Yeah, yeah, uh, you're like, maybe it lowers it. Taking it a lot at once. Gives you a defense. Sure. Yeah, it gives you a defense. Gives you a defense. Oh, automatic one, right. okay. Um, it, it did not like that, but it is still uh, face to face with its with its main Main meal sure. at the moment for sure. sure. Uh, Layla, it is your turn. Okay, um, I would like to use my ace in the hole skill. Okay. Uh, it is called Beastmaster's Roar. Ooh. And it's you stand up tall, puff up your chest, and yell intimidatingly at a medium or smaller creature within short range. Love it. Roll four uh, bullets to inflict the afraid status with the severity equal to the number of hits. Oh my god. Whoa. So, All right, hang on. Let me pull up the afraid status. Uh, yeah, so okay. cannot move closer to the source of attack, attack pools have. Yeah. That's just. <laughs> Regular afraid. Yeah, Ooh, just, reg, yeah, just reg afraid. Reg, reg afraid. afraid. Just afraid on the reg. I love it. Okay, got, got, got. Oh, statuses. Yep, there we go. Okay, great. Okay, so roll your roar. Okay. So roll your roar. Roll roar. 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 The rule drawer. The rule drawer. This is technically a charm roll. Is your roar a yeah, it roar? Sounds, well, <laughs> yeah, it's technically it's actually, it's like a snort. What I would like it to sound like, um, oh, I kind of read this. Raw. Actually, can I um, 
because I've heard it, its roar, uh-huh. I'd actually like the roar to sound like its roar. Mm. Um, because I'm basically, what I'm trying to convey, since this is a charm, uh-huh. is like, this is your chance to run before you die. Ooh. Mm. Wow, I'm warning you. This is like, I'm, I'm warning that. Okay, I love That's it. That's great. Okay. A friend shot you eight so, to a 16 times. Read, it, read it to me. To what, yeah. do, I, do I roll to resist? Read this to me again. Um, it just roll uh, four uh, bullets and okay. inflict the afraid status equal to the severity equal to the number of hits. So the severity is my number of hits. You're, you are going to be afraid. So it, Okay. Yeah. The, the afraid is just oh. automatic. It sounds like that. Yeah. It does uh, sound like but that. But the severity is equal to the number yeah. of so hits. So you're only, the only thing, you, you could be not right. afraid yeah. at all, but and the it's, severity it's is yeah. any actions targeting the source are made with half the amount of dice so rounded up. It would be me, though. Okay, so, okay got it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, wow. But yeah. it's my ace in the whole skill because yes. I've, yeah. So that's Love why it. it's like super powered. Do it. What the? Oh. <laughs> an ace. That's an ace in the hole. That's an ace in the hole. Yeah. Oof. Two. Just two. two. Just two. You, you do get to roll your defense, though, don't right? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. She goes like meow. That's a. Uh, Oh. That's a one. Uh, a so it still one. takes it takes the frightened status for one. Mm-hmm. For one. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's afraid. And you afraid can use one. your turn to get rid of that. Got it. Oh. And it takes a grit to get rid of it. Grit to get rid of it. Okay. Takes a grit to get rid of it. Get rid of it with That's grit. It. Get rid of it with grit. You. How do you? You do you jump <laughs> up in its face next to Scooter or what, how how do you let out this roll? Yes, and uh, so I um, as it's attacking Scooter, um, I'm still kind of on the the mech. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I stomp to kind of get it to look, and then I, I I do a roar. But like seeing this mountain lion, this is like very very scary to me. So the the volume that I had in my brain is not as loud. Yeah. As I, uh, it's like you're you're actually face to face with your fear, and you're like, ah, uh. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't love this idea. Yeah, huh. and um, yeah, and so it's 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 scary, but not as scary as I'd like. But it you've to be. got this sort of instinctual yes. built in. It's like my almost like my hackles raise. You feel yeah. the spirit of your squadron running through your yes. veins as you leap on top of this mech and almost just almost eye to eye with this thing standing behind Scooter yeah. who's down on the ground. You let out this terrified eyeing uh, <laughs> <laughs> roll yes. as you it's stare at its scary. face and yes. your mouth is nowhere near as large as its mm. mouth but that doesn't stop you as you <laughs> and, and sure enough anything nearby is what like, wondering what the heck the is going on went like, no. yeah the vultures <laughs> gone God, they're like no <laughs> it ain't worth it no yeah. as as you as you are able to with your intellect and knowledge of these monsters are able to read confusion and fear and and really blood is dripping from the sides of the, it has taken shot after shot after shot your forestall is still on its on on your backpack and it is it is still just resist trying to resist all of these things it's hungry but still it is really Questioning every decision. <laughs> Should I have gone back to law school? I just oh, God. really. No, I, I gotta call it. Sheila when I get home. Yeah, 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 she's absolutely. the one who got away. Um, I should I call my, my mom. <laughs> yes. uh, um, uh, Marion, what would you like to do? Man, okay, I think. Um, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna use a grit to dodge or get out of the way. Great, Smart. Great. I think like I'm trying to decide whether or not it would be more helpful to heal you or attack it again. I do have a pistol, I do have an extended barrel, and it is short range. So it's I also think- also afraid you're gonna do less damage next round anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. And he's doing okay. Yeah, he's yeah, doing I'm all right. Good, yeah, I'll good. do I'll do another, uh, yeah, so it's one black, one gold, because I have the extended barrel, and it's two grit to fire. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is, uh, I think that's just nothing, because I, I rolled nothing on the gold, and you, then you a can spur. You can re-roll the spur oh, can I? attacking. Yeah, oh, in attacks, cool. you get to re-roll Amazing, the spur. amazing. Ah, no, sorry. Nope, nothing. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> That's right. I'm a healer You're a for healer. sure. Um, I'm a yeah. doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Darn tootin'. Not a, not a um, doctor. Not a lion tamer. <laughs> that is yeah. So I did two for that. Oh, uh, let me see if I can do anything else this turn. I mean, I, I'll, I'll save one to dodge just in case. <sighs> All right. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I shoot wide, uh, and I just, I just, I'm like, I gotta stick to what I'm good at. That's what I gotta do. Okay. Yeah. And I just put the gun away. 
A healer, <laughs> not a, a fighter. A healer. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it is entered a frenzy, oh, which goodness. is something that happens after this, when a, when a, when a creature takes enough damage. It is it is fearing for its life and as we know, there is nothing more dangerous than an animal that truly feels like caged or in real danger. Fight or flight. So uh, it has a, a skill called Savage Predator. Oh, good. That the lion can make an additional claw attack at no grit cost. Wow. That can be used once per round, but only after another player's turn. <sighs> Um, and as you're, as sort of yep. you're rolling so poorly, you rush out and yeah. and it, it is it, it is panicked. Yeah. Uh, but it sees yeah. this this woman stumble out and yeah. try to pull yeah. a, a, a I'm, bolt. I'm dependable and nervous, so that tracks. Oh, that tracks. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and and with your bravery, you're able to do this, and a paw comes. Oh. Uh, it is going to roll an attack on you. That's fine. Do it. Uh, do did it, you have any dodge, dodge actions? Or? I saved. I did. I, yeah, I have enough grit to do a dodge. Great. So uh, is that just one black or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. That is a success. Okay, great. So that's a one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you are still going to take a hit, though. That's fine. Uh, that's as fine. it rolled a total of three wow. on two gold dice with Dang. one ace one ace, and one hit. Dang. Um, as you, uh, ah. you feel yourself almost thrown back against the horses, oh. you don't. It, Sorry, Arthur. You land a little. <laughs> He's like, <"Bleh."> <laughs> <laughs> Arthur wants to get the heck out of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, Arthur. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a lot in common, but we got that yeah. in common. Uh, okay, Scooter, we are back to the top. So is that All three right. damage for me? That is okay. three damage Ooh. for you. Minus oh, wait, one. you minus one, so two. Oh, so two. Okay, cool. Sick. So, uh, Scooter is going to. So at this point, he's basically in melee range, right? Yo, no yeah, right, right, right in your face. Yeah. yeah. So, so I have a bayonet. We're in melee, this. I'd say. I have a bayonet <laughs> at the end of this. You're rifle. telling me. <laughs> Uh, I have a bayonet at the end of this rifle, Great. so I'm just going to use all six grit to stab, stab, stab. Wow. Uh, yep. I mean, at this point, it's predator versus predator. I love that play. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> might be play. a saber tooth tiger, but I got knives too, you <laughs> some bee. <laughs> uh, ace in the hole and a hit on the first one, so that's three. Okay. I rolled a one on I, my. I. I. Oh the yes. One, I, so another ace in the hole and another hit. So that's six total, and then finally that's. Nine. Well, I'm gonna reroll that one. That was caught. Scooter, you made it. Uh, and another <laughs> ace in the we hole. We have to watch him. That's another yeah. ace in the hole <laughs> for a total. When we take of camp, ten. where I was like. So, so a ten total. <laughs> three, three and two. So oh, okay. Eight, so ten eight, total. Eight, I was like, eight, wait total, a eight total. Okay, I did roll an ace on that last. Okay. Uh, so mm -hmm. minus one. So oh, yeah. to take it down to nine. Cool. However, <laughs> you're doing just fine. Uh, so that with a total of nine damage, as you were just <laughs> and mm -hmm. into like into the mouth, into like you can barely even see and as <laughs> blood and and spit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even sure whose blood nope. and spit it is. I could at this be stabbing Layla. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, you're just kind of, you're just. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, cries are echoing throughout everywhere as this lion starts to. It is its turn, but it, it is not quite. And a deafening roar lets out. It is going to use its ability of terrifying roar. Uh, I roll two black. Okay. <gasps> Scary. Defense and dodge cannot counter this effect. Okay. Uh, that's great. Oh, you gotta give him something. Yeah, we gotta, gotta give him something. Give him something. 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 I've been destroying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the the severity of the afraid status. Yeah. Is everybody is too afraid? It's too, it's, uh, severity two. Severity two. Uh, too afraid. But well, as this happens, it has. Between the forestall, between the terrified status, between the <laughs> ridiculous amount of damage <laughs> that Scooter has done to this thing, you see that it is starting to, as it roars into your face. <sighs> this hot breath just blasting right up your nose. <sighs> So your fear is just your eyes yeah. are clenched, you're waiting for death. And then it doesn't come. 
and you start to see as it is turning and keeping an eye towards you. It's multiple wounds and shots and stab wounds and everything, and it's still hearing this buzzing sound of the forest all. It's all sort of combining into, into just so much that no hunger is worth this. And truly, it leaves. It takes, a, it, there is enough time where you all need to be sure it's a stealthy creature. This is a, a stalker and a hunter, much like yourself. But there is enough time for you able to all feel at ease that, no, it's it's gone. You took care of that. You were amazing. Oh, <laughs> I took everything I had yeah. to let it walk away, but I, I figured, I showed that tiger who the real boss is. While you're talking, I'm like stitching up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, I think I'm going to stop drinking whiskey. <laughs> yeah, you smell it when it yeah, comes Yeah, like when it stabbed me in the yeah, liver, it was just whiskey. And I didn't, that's probably right not out. great. It was no. just whiskey. No, <laughs> just, no leaking, blood. Leaking, just whiskey. Leaking whiskey, whiskey. out the side. There you go. See, now you understand. Oh, boy. All right. And I like bite it. Yeah, I'll grab the lockbox. We sure. should get the heck out of here. Yeah, we should. Absolutely. Absolutely. It or its friends come back. Yeah. Uh, and you all are able to using. I mean, it's a little uncomfortable because you still only have four horses and, and now two injured. And, and I mean, honestly, some of you also are injured a little bit as well. But as you make your way back on the horses, there's an awkward ride. But back uh, at dark, you're having to use your lanterns through the night as you make your familiar way back. It does seem cold enough now as you cross the stone bridge and you feel maybe the wasps are, are even a little less likely to come out as the, the lower temperatures seem to kind of lull them to sleep a little bit. Um, it's back across your forestall pack and you pass the outpost where the fully fixed, you know that's safe once again for any future travelers and they have the, the warning and, and everything in the, in, the, in, the, in the diary there. And it is maybe midnight before you see, as you crest the hill, the lights at, uh, at the Uncut Gym and the, other, and the other buildings at Topaz Creek. And you make your way back down into town. And sure enough, just exactly where you saw her originally, Glinda is standing there on, on, that, on that porch outside the bank. She's been pacing a hole in the front of that bank. Um, but it doesn't take her long before. Is that, is that y'all? Oh, Cl Clive! Oh, th thank you, thank you so much. She, the, whoever's first to jump off their horse, she wraps you in a hug. I push. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, goodness! I hate oh, no. slip. Was it? Oh, thank you, thank oh, you so of much. Course, Was of it course. Layla? Layla, Le you remember my name? I do remember. Glenda, uh, uh, worst your squ uh, squadron is here. Oh, <laughs> Jesse oh, and you. Clive, although they're oh. a little worse for wear. Yeah, they're oh, they're, they're really really hurt. Oh, God. is there a doctor who lives in this town? Oh well, I mean, there's someone who once called himself a doctor, but I, I think he was a. a Doctorate of maybe oh, of no, English. We don't mess with like I, I don't know. I didn't, oh, he was a rat. No, I, he. Oh, is, gross. I mean, <laughs> listen, the first time he tried to treat someone's like infected leg, it did not go well. So, I mean, you're welcome to stay. I, I know, but but we we could certainly use you. And and please, please, let's first things first. Of we'll course, get to, get them course. taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, I mean, over over the course of the evening, I mean, you stay up late, but she you know, has a key. The, the lockbox would not be open unless by, oh. by a key that she owns. And she takes you all into the bank and very solemnly, but very uh, uh, graciously hands you out each $20 a piece. Woo -wee. That's oh. crazy. It's, it's, it's the most I could do. And, and, um, and, and here, like, uh, she gave you the 10 and she, le she, Let's the ten count. She's so pleased, Aww. and that Jesse is still alive, and, and she she left them for dead at this point. So mm. the fact that they both survived, she's like, "Thank you, thank you so much." I, I I couldn't be more grateful. In fact, I mean, we could be in the in the market for for new mech couriers if this is a a trail you wanted to do more often. But I, we're we're so grateful, and and I know Randy is is um is so grateful that that. You know, his other eyes working with just as well now. But <laughs> well, that's good, because he makes a killer truffle mac and cheese with the parmi Gijon. <laughs> Indeed. Well, we're just we're just so grateful for all y'all to do so so please um stay the night, uh, have a meal on me. Thank you. Thank you, Layla. Uh, 
Uh, absolutely. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna give my um, my twenty dollars to um, uh, doctor. Doctor. Yes. Um, you said before it was our money, and and I'm not really great with money. So if you wanted to hold on to my money all and right. and have it be our money. All right. All right. If you, if you say so. Should we all propose marriage to Glinda now <laughs> or in the morning? I was gonna do that with why with, with why oh, okay. in the morning. Yeah. All right. Uh, right. Then after I cleaned up all, all the wounds, we can all be married. Yeah, see, let's, let's all get married. We can all just do that. Oh, and they call it we, a polycule. Are we <laughs> settling down here in Topaz Creek? Oh, the idea of settling down that feels weird, but there's not a lot of people here. Not a lot nope. of Glendas in this no, world either. No, I'd there's say. not. And that's there's good. There's a mountain lion that I got to murder us. So and I want to fix that mech and get it up and running again. The town might be safer. You're here in case that cat comes back. That's true. Sounds like there's an awful lot to do in this here wild imaginary west. And honestly, I feel like I've forgiven myself for all the wrong things that I have done. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll end our show. Yeah! Today. Thank oh you. Oh, wow. Thank you, Rune Foundry. Thank you, Boy yes, Light Hobby you. Time. Thank you for this game. Thank you for this setting. Delightful. Thank you to you guys. I love you so thank much. Thank you to thank you. you. Thank you. Great well, well done. Thank you. Thank well you. Done. Warden Morgan. Warden Morgan. Warden Morgan. We're going to just roll <laughs> off the tongue so naturally. <laughs> I feel normal when I say thank it. Warden Morgan. Morgan. Warden Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> I'm really You're tired. You're a Morgan. <laughs> That's right. So check out uh, Rune Foundry's game with, with the, the and with the Kickstarter. Check out Boyle Hobby Time's uh, YouTube channel. It's really incredible. I really enjoyed working, getting to know and working with all these folks. Uh, this has been such a fun time and it's, it's such a cool world as a fan of uh, Deadwood and, and so many other Western shows and movies and stories. And the minis that they've got coming with this thing too are pretty cool. Absolutely. In fact, some of you might be watching this video right now on their Kickstarter page. So, yeah. so, so uh, if you have, please, uh, it, give to it. Let's make this thing make happen. Make it alive. Yeah. yeah. And let's tell some more stories in this awesome, awesome yeah. segment. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. Uh, thank you all so much. Thank you to my amazing players. Thank you to Sean, who's off camera. Thank you. Sean. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you once again, friends. As we always like to say here, humankind. Bebo. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.